Wi-Fi. But we got plenty of time. Wi-Fi sucks. Wi-Fi sucks. Uh, suck it. Uh, suck it. Fuck it, dude. Um, I do gotta say something real quick, though. Like and subscribe. <laughs> no, but close. <laughs> what? So, I just need to make it very clear that a lot of the videos going up right now have pretty bad quality because we're still in the tens in the Buffy playthrough. Herbs is getting uploaded tomorrow, today's Sunday. Uh, we're very late to record this, but um, I just wanted to say that eventually the quality gets a lot better. Herbs is getting uploaded tomorrow? first episode oh that means i have to do artwork for the other one and you had to do artwork for smash uh, fuck. and if you wanted to do an updated buffy but that's no i don't really care about updating buffy <laughs> i, I mean, like I, I think it I makes think, a lot of sense with joss whedon i think our artwork's him. perfect yeah. dude that series has aged like fine wine <laughs> already it's not even halfway through guys dude all of my google news feed has been about godzilla versus kong and joss whedon Mine, anything joss whedon mine's been about like are you, here's how you you're gonna get your stimulus check. And oh yeah, that too. It's like, bro, they uh, they rolled those fuckers out like the yeah. second they could. But all two of us playing with things. But, bought um, her an Easter ball that's very shiny. She and do it's got love so it. many colors on it. I cleaned the whole house and then I just threw <laughs> all of their toys at them and they were like, oh. <gasps> like they loved it. I want to do like, I I've always wanted to do this for cats. Like I, I just. It's been my dream to make like a little playpen, kind of like the way that you get like one of those plastic pools for a ferret and you put little right. balls in it, kind of mm -hmm. like that, but for a cat. So just like a bunch of little cat toys, but you know, these bitches are going to knock that shit out of there. Yeah. The, the, especially Jackie. Jackie's very yeah. like wild with her playing too. It's very much like I want to hold it and like just play with it there. She likes carry to it. sit on things. And she likes to, if she can, she'll carry it in her mouth. Yeah. When we give her marshmallows, she'll like carry it around in her mouth. It's really cute. Besides the bad quality, I gotta say, we are trying, we are going to try to maintain scheduled uploads every day. <coughs> I forget to upload sometimes. And we failed with the podcast already. We, 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 yeah, we failed to upload this in the morning. We were supposed to do this like days ago. We lost the audio. We try. It. We we plan to do it again later, but then we just never did. We we procrastinated. We did paint bottles and smashed a few. Yeah, that still wasn't as satisfying as I thought. Yeah, I didn't think. I it'd think be, it was more of like argue. my fear of getting injured. Like I I can't do wild things because I just in my head I'm like I'm gonna get hurt doing this and I'm gonna start bleeding. I'm gonna do this and like all this fucking shit. And it's like, I just want to enjoy it. But thanks, Mom, for being like, oh, don't jump on the bed because you're going to fall and crack your head. Thanks, Mom. And no more monkeys would jump and that, on that's the just bed. Like, that's just an, a, a metaphor. I mean, yeah. She didn't actually, you know. But it's just like, it's one there of those things. There are some things. weirder things. Yeah, it's like, one of those things that she, she would tell me. Like, I, I keep hearing her voice being like, don't do that because you're going to die. There are some pretty it. wild ones that she is, that you've told to me. That I, <sighs> I, that were like, there's no fucking way that's real. You're fucking, real. it's so absurd. She, she passed there. on her PTSD to me. Meanwhile, I'm the one that actually <laughs> ended up bleeding on my hands. It's just a little tiny piece. But then of... I stepped on glass, yeah, it like, got in my shoe. But it wasn't like bad though. It wasn't like you slit your whole finger off, you know what right. I mean? Like it wasn't bad. But that's, that's where my brain goes. It, it just escalates to the worst situation ever. Mm -hmm. When, like, really, I didn't even fucking get hurt. I just smashed a bottle. <laughs> yeah. It's some some interesting things there <laughs> that your mother has... Your mother... Mother. Has told, told you that blows me away. The... the <clears throat> Trying to not when you try to implement the fear of God into someone and it doesn't work because the father's a hardcore atheist. You try to implement the f fear of anything, literally else. anything else, <laughs> <laughs> like stuff that's not even real. I wasn't sure where you were going with that one. I'm like, what does God have to do with this? And then, yeah, I remember she was religious, but she, she's not yeah. like 
She's not fucking crazy about it. Like, no, because like she she people. is married to your dad after all. Well, I don't think like, that she was crazy about it before him though. Like, well, how I think would she you just, know? Yeah, you I there? don't. I don't know. Technically, you were there. No, it wasn't. You were in your dad's balls, the little sperm. Before she met my dad. Before. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, then I was not there. You weren't there, yeah. <laughs> You're but regardless, I, I've never seen her as, like, hardcore, like, Jesus is going to murder you if you sin. You oh, know? I'm like, not she's saying not that either. That. It's just for for me, my parents weren't super hardcore. Like, they yeah. were still there, but not hardcore. hardcore. Nani, grandma is a little bit up there, but the rest of them, like, whatever. They weren't like, God will kill you and smite you if you t- talk to me in this way. They were never like that. Yeah. But I just feel like your mom specifically would be a bit more leaning towards the We probably go would to go to church. Do if if it was just hell? you know, if she was a single mom, we probably would have gone to church. My sister went to church because she met um a guy that would go to church. But he really? would go yeah. Yeah, she was dating this guy that would go to church, so he was like, hey, you should come listen to the word of God with us, and like, all this fucking shit, right? Wow. So, yeah, I know. She was like, you know what, I'll give it a try, because she too was like, against, like, I, I don't know if she's atheist, I really don't know, she probably is, because she, she doesn't really believe in much, you know? Mm-hmm. But, um, she, she, she was like, you know what, fine, let's see what's up with that. She ended up going to one of the cult churches oh that awesome are in my hometown and so she never went back <laughs> i wonder why <laughs> yeah um good on her for realizing that it was a cult immediately but you know she God, she dude. never really liked church in general so Th- those situations either you never go back or you never come back yeah <laughs> that shit's scary like, it is scary fuck man cults. fucking cults are horrible yeah and they still exist and many of them aren't seen as terrorist groups I'm proud of her. White power. <coughs> but that is surprising. I didn't know that your, like your, your sister, her history, you've told me some. She does seem like the kind of person that's like, I'll try it. Yeah. Just to see. Well, yeah, like she really liked this guy, but, you know. Like, imagine if that guy, like, took cult. her to, like, a really amazing church service. Like, people, then, yeah, she probably would. Like. Oh my god! I know. Like she'd be an entirely I'm different. I'm so person. glad that she went to a cult. God, dude, because that that would have I would not like her. Aaron would have been like, "Oh, I dodged a bullet." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Woo. I mean, she's Aaron's already cool. she's she's been pretty skeptical about shit before. So like, right. even if it was a good church, I feel like she would grow out of it. Like she she'd probably like you know go along with it for a bit, kind of like maybe try to you know. Pray How old maybe was she? or something. I don't know. I don't know. Like she was... uh, like uh, around your age? Younger? No, I don't know. I can't really remember because I think I'm gonna say probably twenty. <laughs> maybe she was old enough to make her own decisions. Because, okay. Yeah. It, it wasn't Never like mind. yeah. It wasn't. As bad. I say, the the younger like she you... was driving. Oh, so okay. yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say the younger you get, the more likely you're gonna fall out of it. Yeah. The thing that Rhett said on the Rhett and Link show podcast, whatever they do, I don't really <laughs> know. I I only I only know from clips. I've never the really good watched Good Mythical Morning. Good Mythical Morning. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where he was like, the reason why kids aren't in church anymore is because they've learned to see injustice and fight against it, and that's what the church is. So yeah. it's led to a lot of kids going against religion when. The, the I that's soup I super hard. You might as well just that. like, I mean, I don't want to give you too much editing, but you might as well just like clip that in there. <laughs> <laughs> like he, he said it best. No, I I think people need to go because he says it in a way more profound. Yeah, because he's very experienced in the religion side of things, from what I know, and like, well, because they I, they both grew up like pretty southern, I think. Yeah, they were like, like heavy hard, more hardcore stuff, than yeah. I was. I was I was like kind of in there, but they were like in there, in there. They were a part of it. So like, I feel like people should go listen to that. Yeah, that's a great perspective, and it's very profound and 
well said and very truthful because a lot of people like I I knew this guy in high school who was super hardcore Christian like dad dad a pastor you know mom super religious both really really Christian he was super Christian but he was very out there some people thought he was gay you know <laughs> never really dated anyone because he just was like kind of awkward and nerdy too mm-hmm. but like I thought he was really cool like he was very funny very just cool person chill could like talk to people very well very cool and now he's not religious anymore and it's so and it, it was so weird to me so i was like knowing his family i was like dude i feel like he they'd like try to groom him into joining the church with them mm-hmm. but apparently not now he's just he wants to be a photographer and shit and like he's just dude, doing that's his like, own thing how um I'm sorry, you said photographer, and I'm like, I never understood how somebody would want to be a photographer. Like, uh, no offense, <laughs> right? Yeah, because of course. I, I have, like, had my phase of, like, and during high school where I would take a, a bunch of pictures with, like, the iPhone, you know? And, like, a lot of these pictures were beautiful, and, like, they, they came out so cool, and I'm just like, holy shit, like, I mm-hmm. should really be a photographer. And it's like, I never saw, like, how I could make money off of it. Right, like, I no. never saw it as a career. And then I, I met you, and you take pictures like shit. Like, not gonna lie, your pictures suck ass. <laughs> like, every time that I'm like, oh, take a picture of this, you you take it at the worst fucking angle, and I'm just like, what? Why there? That's not even, that's not what I wanted, <laughs> sir. So I'm like, I just fucking let me do it, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And it, Fair enough. I mean, like, Fair enough, dude. So now I'm like, maybe oh. I should be a photographer, because apparently I have a good eye for this, according to me, well, and that, me only. But to go back to that, it's like, how do you make money off it? Well, how same do you? Same yeah. way as artists, it's like commission work. Like, my yeah. my my uncle Brody, he he wants to be a photographer. Like he's got a very nice camera, very fancy, he takes all these pictures. But he advertises as doing like senior photos and prom yeah, photos. Yeah, that's what and I was thinking. Like wedding photos. Wedding photos, like shit. photos of your fucking dog, like whatever. Like he does literally anything. Yeah. And people do hit him up because he has the high tech equipment and right, he really yeah. likes to do it and he knows a lot of people. So it's very easy that's for him to like find work, quote unquote. But he's not making a living off of it because it's like, it's, yeah, you can't. You kind of can't. You have yeah. to like really build that. I want to say, oh, you build that reputation of like, oh, like, but like someone that person's really good, like hire them for your wedding. I've and... never heard anybody gush about a photographer. Yeah. In my entire life, I've never heard somebody be like, this is the best photographer ever. I've never heard anybody talk about photographers. Like, if, yeah, maybe there's some people that would be like, you know, oh, I, I got pictures done with this person. You should totally do that. You know, Sure. But that's not enough to like have a career off of because uh, most of the time people will take their pictures and then leave. Like they won't give you shit, you know. I mean, they'll pay you, but you know, it's like it's not the word's not going to spread. Can I compare that to like music composers for like yeah. video games and movies? Like I'm sure there's people that are like, oh, I love this movie. Right? Yeah. No, I'm incredible. sure it's like fanatics but, or anything. Yeah, but the general populace doesn't care mm-hmm. like they're not gonna watch the credits of a, of the of a movie and be like oh who was like yeah who held the boom microphone that was really well the boom you know <laughs> but it is it is like, an art guy? people who are in yeah. that profession are just like dude this one guy he's the guy you know what i mean or woman like a um, guy right, is yeah. gender neutral shut up but like it's the same thing with photography in my opinion where it's like everyone has photographers for anything yeah period like whether it's like someone you know i mean just a look at magazines exactly like they're everywhere yeah. dude but it's not such a known thing like i'm sure sh- yeah. i'm sure there's some where it's like the credit to whoever photographer but like 90 percent of the time no yeah and 90 percent of the time you assume someone else like a person took it not a professional because it seems like such a simple thing, taking a picture of something. Well, now with like phone like, cameras being so professional, it's right. a lot more difficult to tell. Well, then 
it's easy to tell when you have people like me taking fit pictures. Oh, yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. Like just, yeah. Where <laughs> you I, suck. I just want a picture of it. I don't really care. I'm not looking at it like a kid. I love the video that I took of that, that cloud with the lightning in it. I don't know if you remember that. But it was like this big cloud over the 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 sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where else would it be? Yeah, where else would it be? <laughs> it's in the mountain. <laughs> and like it's just like the, the lightning streaks in it looked so cool. I love that. That is cool. Um I'm obsessed with it. Brody's really cool. I, I apparently he's just doing like photography. It, like I don't know if that's what he wants to do, but he he's like pretty into it right now. But every time I've ever talked to him, he's like, "Yeah, I'm just wanting to go to college or mm -hmm. whatever. Literally, just leave. That's all I want to do." I'm like, "Yeah, I can. I can understand that. Growing up in like a small yeah, area, mostly definitely. known family in school, people." people here in breckenridge like i'm i can see like a lot of them are just like i just want to leave yes and it's so weird to see ones that are just like no i think i'll stay i think that's why jules trying to get into college i think i'm not too sure i haven't really asked her about college but it sounds like from what i've heard is she's gonna go study somewhere right has she said anything about what no i don't, I don't I don't really want to ask because I feel like that's just personal and she probably does or doesn't know or, right. you know, people that ask her all I, the time. She's like stressed out. Maybe. Absolutely. I don't the, know. People do. I hated I hated when going leaving high school and they're like, so what are you going to do in college? I'm like, I don't it's like, like, yeah, dude, I don't I know. I have prerequisites. Yeah. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. I didn't have no summer vacation to like think about it. I was rushed into going to summer college and then just being like i guess music i don't know <laughs> and yeah then, then have first year of music i'm like i kind of want to do a different thing of music and then the school's like oh this one i'm like maybe and then the, the throughout that year i'm like this isn't it and they're mm -hmm. like well that'll be eight thousand dollars <laughs> fafsa and Fast was like locking the door <laughs> as I'm trying they to walk up there. They left you on scene. They yeah, they're like, we'll get back to you on that one, and then left on scene forever, and then dropped out like a champ. And here I am in a shithole house. I still can't express how much I hate college. I've never it's a been scam. there. Don't want to go there. It it like here's the thing, it's not a scam for people with either genuine academic talent or people yeah. with money. Yes. Because you're the scammer. <laughs> Just yeah. saying. Like, poor people who most definitely need college because how else is, like, some kid from a small a fucking family or a huge family with no money going to ever be anything more than a Walmart worker? You go to college. Can't afford it. Can't, yeah. Go into debt. Didn't get the job. Now you're back, moved in with your family, and you have all this debt, and you're back at work in a Walmart, and guess what? The interest on the debt builds up forever, and you're forever owing the college money for something that didn't even pay off, and it happens all the fucking time. I hated, um, because I did very well in school, like, I was always straight A's, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes... A little bit lower. It was never. Sometimes you felt yeah. a little rascally. Ooh, you know, <laughs> skipping video game design class. <laughs> Come on, man. That's the only one that I was like. Fuck Don't this. do my man bad like that. I, I hated that one. My, my, I, I, you already told this. I already told you this story, but I had a video design class, and my school of fit like twelve <laughs> people's the biggest class. This is a small fucking school. This All was right. the biggest shit to me. All right, <laughs> small ass hick town. For like our graduation prize, we went to a church and listened no, to a prayer, what? and I got a bi a Bible. That was that's what my school did for me. Okay, to see I got a video game design class, I almost creamed my baby boy jeans, man. And I got in yeah, there. Yeah, well, no, it was it was a cool idea to me too. Oh yeah, I was it's like that's cool. a thing we can do that. Oh my god. Yeah. But then half my class is like, this is gay. <laughs> It was like it was like four fifths of my class. It was literally like me and like three, five other people are like, nah. But like everyone else, this is gay. I want to play football, and it's like, oh, all right, class. You got whoever wants to go play football, go play. Football. And everyone's like, 
cool. Wow. Meanwhile, I'm in here fucking designing video games and being epic. Listen, mine was not that, all right? Like, mine was the complete opposite of that, in fact. <laughs> um, we had to take, it was required for us to take a computer class um, for freshman year. So that was to teach you, you know, about Word, Excel, um, PowerPoint, all that fucking shit that we already knew how to do. Right, because mm-hmm. we we grew up on that shit, so we already knew. But we would have to like, literally, like type down like pages and pages of a book, and like do like articles. But like we didn't have to actually write anything. Like we didn't have to come up with it. We were just copying and pasting and like just being slightly right. creative with the colors, you know. So there was that. It was so boring, so tiring, so like. My eyes would burn, you know, it was the worst shit yeah. ever. And this lady from next door came over, was the teacher for video game design. And she was like, if any of you want to sign up for video game design for next semester, you might as well do that now. And she would like, you know, bring out a piece of paper. I was like, video game design? Like, yeah, oh. like that. That was like, huh? We can we can do that. We can do so that. almost all of us did that. Right. So, yeah, next semester I saw the same people again. Some new people. Some people already knew. Um, And it was the lamest shit ever. Like, it, we had a program. And the program wasn't, like, it wasn't like Unity, you know? Like, it wasn't like you That's could actually. That's what we had, yeah. We, it, had, we, we were on Unity. It, it wasn't like you could actually had freedom, you know? It was like you... It was, I don't know how to explain it, but it just, it was the most basic shit. And you had to use like, you know, clip, clip art or something. Oh, You know what I mean? Like you can't do your own thing. Like you had to just make it up from the internet. I think I do know what you're talking about. Um, they, this isn't exactly it, but when I was a kid and I wanted to make video games, there were these other video games in quotation marks. Where it's like you build a video game with the assets they give you. But oh. it's not really you're making a game. Right, yeah. It's more of like you're putting like like you know where it's yes. like those kitty things where it's like the square and the square yes. shape and the circle and you're just putting it there. Yes. And they're like, You built it. Yeah, it was very <laughs> similar to that. They did have like, okay. a little more freedom than that because you were able to like Google up, you know, a transparent photo or something, and you can put that in there. <gasps> um, but like as for things that would interact and all that, like you would have to get it from the program. Right. So there was like not much freedom with that, and not just that, but every assignment that we had would last about a week. Maybe sometimes more if she was feeling nice. Um, so every week, we would watch a film um, to design a video game off of. And this was the longest class of the day. So we were able to finish the entire film. Jesus. And restart it. What the hell? So every you day. Got, you got video games and movies? <laughs> for five days. In a row, we watched the same movie. The amount of times that I've watched Wreck-It Ralph, the amount of times that I watched Hotel Transylvania 2, (gasps) the the amount of times that I've had to watch Mr. Peabody and whatever the fuck. Sherman. Oh my God, I hated that movie so much. I hated it so much. Like The first time, I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. You know, I was like, Mm it was a nice, wholesome... Second time, I'm like, all right, this is getting a little old. Third time, fuck this movie. Fuck this movie. What did that do? It it just pissed like, me off. No, 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 no. Like, think, like, the, oh, as a teacher, know. what no is idea. this What is this installing into the students? Um, like, if I needed to remember something, I would Google it. We had computers to It's Google some kind of torture with. in prison. I know. Like, the I, only <laughs> one that I was okay with was Big Hero 6. That one I could watch right. way more times than That five. one's really fucking that good. That one's amazing. Rekka Ralph's like, eh. But fuck, the rest dude. are like. I have the whole script ingrained into my head. I'm I am so pissed can off. Can I So I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna skip this class and just chill outside for a bit. Cops didn't say anything. They weren't gonna do shit. You had cops in your school. Yeah. Yes. 
cops in the school. But my, <laughs> I went on a tangent about video game design class, but what I was going to say is I, I hated when teachers saw how well I was doing in school and they would be like, oh, you're, you should really go to college. What, what are you thinking about doing in college? It's like, dude, I'm 12. <laughs> like, I'm sorry to tell you, but like, I don't really want to go to college. And they'd be like, why don't you want to go to college? Why? It worked out so great for me. Yeah, like what? You you would do so well. Why don't you want to go? It's like because I don't have money. Oh well, there's there's financial aid. Oh really? Where? Really where? Yeah, like what? I got that didn't help me for I, shit. I got a single fucking scholarship and it was two hundred dollars. Do you know how much um they were Fast One was offering me? How Five thousand. Are you serious? Five thousand. This how shit's is like that fucking enough? insurance. Yeah, how is that enough for anything? Uh, Matt Watson, on the recent epic Super Mega Cast, <laughs> was talking about how he got nose surgery. Insurance oh. paid for I think four thousand dollars worth. <gasps> he still owes like seven thousand dollars, <sighs> like somewhere around there. That's a ballpark. Time I don't to remember cash that in well. that stimulus. Like, bro insurance is a scam yeah <laughs> like fuck this country <laughs> i just hate it so much but i wanted to say you watching those movies over and over remind me when i worked at the walmart in level land of my college Ugh. where i had to watch moana because they placed all the tvs by the front door so i watched moana oh. for how long is like the eight hour shift yeah. i watched moana for eight hours every single day oh. for like Three, four weeks. That's not good. Five days out of the week, Moana. All the way till they closed. Sometimes I got overtime. <sighs> Sometimes I had to take a short break. I'm right back to Moana. This is why everybody on the sales floor was rooting for the radio when it was shut off at the store. Oh everybody God. was so peaceful. Work was getting done faster. Like just everything was rolling smoothly and then the cashiers were like it's too damn quiet mm -hmm. i can't check out people like this so they turned the radios back so on. ridiculous man yeah you're a moron if you work in any sort of retail and you're like i miss the radio Dude, get some airpods bro like get I, a life i am so sorry to tell you this but like bro just get some wireless headphones and put them in because i I'm so fucking dead on the inside. Tulu gave me like a bite. I know. I, I'm she watching. She was like licking and she was like. Nyam. But like I I haven't worked at United in a while. Like it's been a few months. Oh. I still remember every song that played because yeah. they played like five on repeat. Well, like two nights ago, I I, I think I woke you up to tell you this. I don't know if you, you remember, but. I, I just, I couldn't sleep peacefully because I kept hearing the same song over and over and then randomly the radio going off and like mm -hmm. just code six talking to each other. And I'm just like, fuck. Do retail, retail workers get PTSD. It, it was like, damaging, dude. I, it I is. I couldn't sleep at all. You, you'll remember numbers that don't mean anything in right. the world you live in. You remember like names specific noises like frequencies oh, the that noises like radios the would beep like some like when someone's like sir and you like it's in that uh, kind of direction and you're like did me? i i get that but like with excuse me like when somebody needs to like get by you they'll say excuse me and to me i'm like what you know like i look at them like what do you want what do you, you want know? for real and they'll just like look at me like um excuse me <laughs> like can you move and it's like, oh shit! Like I thought you were gonna say something to me. Like I no, yeah, <laughs> and and it's crazy how it's like you're still like disrespected purely on the fact of like the person disrespecting you is because they've never worked in your position. Anyone that's worked retail <laughs> yeah. is a decent human being, and every single person on the planet should have to work retail Except for, for at least two years. <laughs> Except no, for you don't go to management or team, whatever the fuck. You stay yeah. the one cashier that gets the same old lady with dementia talking the about the cans of cat food. The ones that are always on the bottom food. are the ones that are dealing with the worst. Maintenance. And they will never get to the top ever. Like No matter how hard you work, no matter how long you work, 
it's never going to work out. And it is designed that way. Yeah. It's nothing wrong with you because there's a I, lot of amazing workers. I had everywhere. to retake the assessment to try to transfer to the other Walmart. And you know how they give you that questionnaire of like, um, basically like describing your personality of like well i'm i'm more of a of a leader or like i would prefer somebody else to take charge you know stuff like that there was one that said um if you work hard uh you get uh rewarded you know or like um rewards aren't meant for everybody and it's like it, yeah like of course i want to answer the the one where it's negative because it's the truth Dude, but those... what they want you to say yeah. is the other one. And specifically, questions like those, and when people are honest, they don't get hired. They don't get hired, because yeah. Because they want someone that will lie. Yeah, they want someone accept... that they can whip. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? You know, and they get plenty of people like that. Mostly children who just need a job because they can't, that like, their home situation is horrible. Kids, teenagers... Anyone working at any position deserves a living wage, period. Because beyond the idea that kids, well, they're just working for like money offhand, like gas off money of school, or something. like whatever. Yeah. It's so ridiculous because there's so many horrible situations yeah. where it's kids supporting their family. Like their family yeah. can't do shit. Like, or the parents are being abusive and they really need to get the fuck out of there. Absolutely. You know? And kids. Any fucking human being on the planet deserves to survive. That yeah. should be a human right. And it's so crazy over the years that that's a r radical idea. It's like, <laughs> I know. Whoa. That's such a hippie tree hugger thing to say. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, I no, guess. it's the truth. Like, what do you, what, what is the big problem of like just letting people live and survive? Like, why do people need to be beneath you? You know? Listen, they like, say, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if somebody's beneath me if anything i want to be equal to them mm -hmm. you know like i the ones above me are like okay fuck you because i know how you got there sir but like the ones that are beneath me i feel bad and like if if i can help them accelerate i would and that is why only certain people in the world that are in higher positions can actually be looked up to like bernard sanders yeah. and aoc when she streams on Twitch, it makes me go, ha, ha, ha. She's just like me. <laughs> when Snoop Dogg be When be Snoop Dogg be streaming for, for eight, eight hours. <laughs> you let the stream on. Dude, <laughs> Snoop, come on the podcast, man. <laughs> you can make steak. I can make steak, brother. Ooh, I made some steak pretty, off challenge. I made some pretty good steak Who's from the judge, Walmart. Tulip? <laughs> she would betray you so hard. Dude, she's already passed out. <laughs> you know she'd betray you. She'd be like, Snoop Dogg. Tulip. It's the Snoop Dogg. It, it's the me. I'm the dog. <laughs> Snoop. Tulip's a Snoop Dogg stand. Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> she climbed up onto my lap and passed out. So now I'm just petting her and she's really cute. Oh, man. <sighs> that was a that was a weird. Oh. Well, I'm just. I know. I, I, I know, uh, but they don't see this. Yeah, this is not a video podcast. <laughs> I feel like I couldn't do a video. Podcast. It's just annoying. It's kind of people weird. don't want listen to podcasts to watch podcasts. Listen, you know like, what I mean. Shows like H3, like they do do visual bits, like segments and shit, and like watch stuff. And when it could just be a separate video. Yeah, like that. That I mean. Th th <laughs> that, <laughs> They're banking on people watching the YouTube. Yeah. No one goes on to Spotify to listen to them because right. of that reason. Us. Oh, excuse me. That sounded very uh, gross. You know when like frogs like, you know, that was me right now. But like in my <laughs> cheek, my cheeks Ew. went. Mm. Anyway, you know Did how you barf? Like, I didn't barf. Can you feed it to me? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay, no, that's, that's stupid. Are you just gonna I leave it like there? I don't like this bit. It's it's there now. I don't like it. Dude, that's gonna fucking reek. <laughs> We're only halfway through the podcast. It's I don't gonna sit want there. It. All right, hold on. <laughs> oh, you <gasps> missed it! You missed the spot. Oh fuck. <laughs> 
Oh, Tula, Tula wants them. Tula, Tula's awake. <laughs> no, no, she just, she's just curious what's going on. Just God, all right. Go back just, to sleep. No, no more of this. Hold on, wait. Dad. <laughs> dude, there's a little bit left. I gotta Dad. get it. I, dude, it's gonna stain the couch. We're not taking this couch with us anyway. Oh, we have how many days to move? Eight. Eight. This is the second. T- oh, what? She scratched the fuck out of my arm. She scratched the fuck. Ow! She's scratching my arm. Ow! Do <laughs> you see this? Well, stop fucking with her. She just wants nappies. Look at her. She's just rolling around. <laughs> She's crazy. Um, this is the. Ah! What the fuck? That's love language. Do you not know this? Cats bite because they love. <laughs> this is the second to last Sunday we'll be in the house. Next Sunday will be our last About night in leaving. the house. Yeah. Because the next day we are going to go get the U-Haul and get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Which um, I was thinking like I I. Fuck. Words I, are hard. I was literally thinking, like, we need to, like, go grab something at Walmart before we leave. Like what? I can't fucking remember. Snackies? No. Ice for the ice, ice machine. Ice for the Dude, ice we cooler. need to put, like, an alarm for that. Like, I was thinking, An like, alarm at that date or, like, a reminder or something. Like, I was thinking you and I drive to... Dude, just talking about it is, like, giving fuck. me butterflies. Because it's exciting. Uh, yeah, like I want to pee. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the, real quick, I've been listening to some of the episodes. The amount of times uh, an episode ends with you being I'm, like, I'm going to go pee. Oh, it's so funny. Did and I it, have a tiny bladder? Um, for piss. For <laughs> What else would it be? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. And where's my keys? Oh, I left them in my bladder. <laughs> Oh no, I gotta pee those I out. I gotta make some lemonade, alright? Life gave me lemons, I make bladder. Yeah, well, guess what, Ali? <laughs> Around the corner, fudge is made. What? Think about that. I didn't even hear what you said. Fudge Put that is in made? your hot coffee pot and drink it. Did you say fudge? Yeah. It's made. Yeah. Like poopy? <laughs> yes, Ali. Like, little... like feces. Like. Oh, dude, I just shit myself. Oh. Oh. (laughs) All right. (laughs) No. Oh, did you used to do that thing with your, with your, with your, (laughs) with your, what's this thing called? (laughs) The, I don't know. Because this is inner elbow. Okay, your That's that's your weenus. That's a weenus, the opposite of your weenus. Penis? Wait, where you would hold on, let me see if oh. I can get this right. Hold on. <laughs> Tube is not happy with you. <laughs> I can't, dude. My arms are actually too big for me to reach. <laughs> hold on. God, dude, this is I can't. Me so happy. Dude, look, my fucking <laughs> muscle legit gets Ooh, in the oh, way. Oh, big, big monkey! I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking ape. I'm sorry that I have so much beef. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm over here showing off my himbo energy, and you're like, <laughs> you have no care for my for my <laughs> right, muscle. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> but I, I actually am trying. Well, I can do my left arm a bit. Yeah. You gotta like mm. mm-hmm. you know? Oh you gotta ooh. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I got yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it so much. That is my favorite thing in the world. I I love farts. <laughs> oh god. I love farts so much. Oh. That is the only comedy that will not get old for me. <laughs> I know, I can't, right? I can't, I can't. No, oh, do it, do it. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> no. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so fun? Wait, wait. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. 
Why did mine sound explosive? Is it my meat? Hold on, wait, wait. Can you <laughs> tell me about the ca- the story of this one? Of what? The story of this one. Okay. You ready? <laughs> Mom? <laughs> no, dude, no, no. My moms are like, are like. <laughs> oh, I'm oh sorry, mom. God, Don't no. listen to this. Oh Those are mine God. too. Don't worry about it. Oh we all do God. it. No, dude. One <laughs> the time. time. One, one. Are you gonna talk about it? No, 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 no. This you was. Might a, as well talk this was about different. It. This was different. This is completely different. This is a short story, but Ooh. one time in high school, oh, middle school, really, <laughs> oh, no, this not even not high school. Well. This was probably middle school. <laughs> I just start, I start coughing. No, no. And you know my sneezes. When I sneeze, it like it goes. There's like fifty it, it, sneezes yeah. in a row. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and at the same time, just <laughs> Devin. And this guy. <laughs> Walks behind me, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he walks ahead of me, and he just, he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and, I, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do, so I was like, oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it was clearly me. Why did I say it wasn't me? No one was around. What was I gonna, I like looked around, and I was like, whoa, that was weird. Like, oh. What the fuck? And he, he knew. Like you were possessed or something? Yeah, like, like oh and I looked, I looked kind of like to my left because normally the principal's <laughs> there. Because we're in my locker room. She's like stands there. She stares at people because she's got like a superiority like a complex. Bitch. But <laughs> I'm like walking down to the class. The guy's right behind me. And he's just... <laughs> and like he's, he's watching me do this dance <laughs> I'm doing. Me? Of coughing, <laughs> sneezing, and shitting myself all at the same time. And I look to the direction where she's at, because I want to blame it on her. Right. It's clearly not her, <laughs> but no one was even there. So I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> I'm like 13, like 15. Wow. How, why did I think that was okay? Wasn't me. It wasn't me. They caught me on the counter. Wasn't me. It, <laughs> on the sofa. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. I, I wanted to I wanted to tell a story that I haven't even told you before. And this is very embarrassing oh. and cringy. There's more? No. This is unrelated. This is to go well, back. Wait, but before you okay, get unrelated, okay, yeah, go. you we should probably mention my laughing fit. <laughs> that was Extremely yes. embarrassing. Oh my god. Greatest <laughs> moment of my life right here. I mean, yeah, it was hilarious, but like I cried no, afterwards because it was that embarrassing. It was like a world record, can I say? <laughs> this was insane, guys. Like I I applauded. I can't even remember I what it was that made me laugh. I couldn't fucking breathe. I think it was the fart. <laughs> the fart I, think the fart. I farted once and I laughed. And it, la- <laughs> it kept going. So it's like, can you like try to replicate it? No. No. Uh, it was like. It was a lot. It Because Allie farts like a good bit, you know. Like a good bit. Like a good, the good no. <laughs> like a good bit. I know. It just sounded like you were going to Ma'am. Bitch. And, and. And I and I and it was funny. It's funny. Like shut up. It's always funny. Farts are hilarious. She laughed. I laugh. I think your reaction to <laughs> the, the fart and me laughing made you laugh more. Yes. And then it just unlocked. Yes. I think it's because listen, after like I'll laugh at like, I'll laugh at the first few. And then after it goes on for so long, my laughing increases because I'm like, how the fuck is this now happening? You know, it was like, it was like the heavens doors open <laughs> and just <laughs> the longest fart I've probably ever heard in my life. But it was like the, the laughing, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but it just kept, it going. kept going and we couldn't <laughs> breathe. And I'm like on the floor, literally could not breathe. And you're like, shut up. Well, cause it was embarrassing. Shut up. But oh my God. If, out of everything in our lives that I wish could have been recorded, that that 
and you falling off the 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 cliff <laughs> over here. That would have been golden. Ugh. But that that's that's a later story. Let me Yeah, tell me about your unrelated story. Let me legit make you think differently about me Uh-oh. with this story. I've never told you this. Oh, I'm scared. Because it's so cringy and oh, I forgot no. all about it until we started and then like Is this about divorce time? Maybe. Depending no. depending on how bad you take this. Uh oh. So So to go back about video game making. Um, when I talked about that video game that I was talking about, it was like a PS2 game, like RPG Maker 20 something, whatever the fuck. Um, I was like, does it have to do with porn? No, it's kind of wholesome, but also creepy. So just trust me, but creepy. Just trust me. The concept Uh is creepy. Oh, dude, I feel a fart coming in. The art. Is wholesome, all right. So, I had a crush when I was like twelve. This girl <laughs> that like asked me out when I was like three. I didn't understand what was going on, and then she broke up with me when I was like <laughs> three and a half. Like I didn't really get it, but I had a crush on her for a long time, and my parents were super weird about it. Ugh, and as they would. And, you know, <clears throat> I'm a nerd. I'm making video games on this RPG maker. And I, I have a story where I'm the main character. Oh. Oh, no. And, and, I'm, and the, there was no, like, beginning. There's only really, like, an end sequence. <laughs> the end sequence is, like, I fight the big dragon boss. And then... Get the girl? No. I and, don't want this to be like a weird stalker situation. Just let me let me get there. This is weird. So I beat the dragon. It's me, my friend Chris, and or no, I guess it would have been Tyler at this point. Tyler was my younger friend. Right. But it was me and him. And maybe someone else. I don't remember who my friend group was at the time, but again, I'm like 10, 12, maybe even a 13. I don't fully remember. I was very <clears throat> young, but I defeat the dragon. My friends are all cheering. But then the, the doctor comes in, and he's like, it's happening. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like I, So how the game works is you have to pick what character is speaking, and then they'll show like a portrait of it. Right. And you write the dialogue of what they're saying. <clears throat> So I'm sitting there writing the dialogue on a controller. Oh, okay. I'm very meticulous about this because you have to be. So so we go into this cutscene. Like gentle, beautiful piano. She's not giving birth. (laughs) And and (laughs) and there's a there's a baby sound effect. No. Baby's crying. My character's like, no. "Oh my god, it's beautiful." And I made a virtual representation Did of my crush. Did anyone see this? Did give anyone birth see this? But to you? my virtual child. Did anyone see this? No. Good. I was legit. This would have not happened well. So I. Like in the moment, okay. I thought this was like a glor like a great no. ending to my character's story. I ain't even built a story again. This was the ending sequence, but it just nothing happened. And I was like the next day I looked you know, when you make you make anything and then the next day you're like, That's kinda not that great. That was like that, but I was like, That's kinda like fucking weird. And again I'm like ten, nine maybe 15 9 and i'm like that's kind of creepy like maybe i shouldn't have that exist in you the world really should not. and so yeah. i delete it and I'm, i and then i think <clears throat> about it and i was like that was weird why did i do that and then like years later i like messaged her friend i'm like hey no. what's up and we're talking and she's like talking about how they go to a church group on wednesday and i'm like I want to do that. And I tell my mom, like, Mom, can I go to church on Wednesday? 
because her friend is the one I had a crush on at the time. And I was like, maybe I can, like, you know, woo my 13-year-old <laughs> charm on her. And they go in there. I go to the church. And the first thing that happens is the football team is like, are you a virgin? And I'm like, what? And I don't know what to say because I'm 13 and I'm not smart. And I'm like, yeah. And they're all like, well, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> and what? Wouldn't it be the opposite? And that was the last time I think I saw that that poor girl. Wouldn't that be the opposite, though? Like, if you're 13 and you lost your virginity, like, yikes. Who do, who has to go to prison now? Yeah, but when you're a 13-year-old, you're just like, yeah, I fucked your mom, and your mom liked it. I'm your dad now. I had sex with Mackenzie behind the benches. Um, oh, oh, oh. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Jackie just squirted <laughs> on me! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jackie really liked your story about Oh my god! <laughs> about babies! She squirted on me! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no! What do I do? I did. I the, saw her get into her pose of like, I did is she too, gonna pee? I did too. That was so weird. She okay. She she like walks over, and looks um, at me, and I'm like, okay, she's do she's horny. I get it. She's crying all over. Uh, she's been crying all fucking day. She's right still now. crying right now. She comes over oh, to the. And she jumps no. on the thing. I'm like, oh, that's cute. And she gets on my lap. And I was like, oh, that's cute. She and literally you, just sprayed you. You look at me. <laughs> With the most, like, oh my god. And I'm like, what? And I look down and her tail's up. I'm like, this is not fucking happening. She walks away and there's, she squirted on me. <laughs> you, should, you should probably pause and get I'm, yourself fixed up, sir. What the fuck? Oh. Did it go through? Did it go through to your box? Okay, no, I'm just sweaty. Okay, well, I'm just sweaty. Good. Yeah, well, that was a traumatic story I had to retell. Jackie, get off the counter. We're going to have words about this. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go put this in the washer real quick. See, every time that the cats get horny, they always go after you. And I'm pretty sure that's because they know you're a male. Because, like, when Tulip used to get horny, she, like... I remember she rubbed herself on your arm and you're like, Ugh, the fuck? <laughs> like, your your arm was, like, wet. She, uh, yeah, like, she got off on my arm yeah. one time. Oh my god! It was like very disturbing. I think you were actually asleep when it happened. I think I was. Tulip molested you <laughs> in your sleep. No, she t stop. That's so disgusting. Oh my god! They know you have pee pee, and they're like so, pee pee. So that's like the second time. Oh, that's both of our cats have now like squirted on me. Then yeah, Tulip peed on me once because you're a male. I, I think what it's is... just like a natural instinct of like male. Am I supposed to be like property? Is that what I am to them? Yeah. I give them the treat and they're like, oh, take take my squirt. Uh, I and guess. Walk away. Maybe that's why Shane Dawson fucked his cat. <laughs> maybe the cat came on him. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, maybe that's why he was like, I never came on my oh cat because the cat came Dude, on him. That's like... Jackie's looking at you like, I'm going to get some more of that later. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Ew. What a, what a bitch. I now know. I'm just hearing my boxers like, I'm like kind of self-conscious now. Why? Because I'm like, what if you could like, what if there's like still squirt on them? What if it did soak through and I just didn't notice, but there really isn't. But like, I'm like, what if I didn't notice? And like, what then if my balls hang out? Just replace them. This is why we can't do a visual podcast. Oh, well, that would have been hilarious. That though. would have been funny. But, you know, I mean, you can see my balls. You, like, these boxers don't do me any favors. Like, I can't right now because you're at a different angle. If I was sitting right in front of you, I definitely Exactly. Just, these, yeah. Like, was, I can't do tight well, boxers. Well, that's why, yeah, that's why people get, like, briefs. But I can't do briefs. Why not? Because it's like. If I get medium, it it's too small because of my my my, my wagon, you know. Okay. And and if I get you large, know what they say about big feet, not that my ass, dude. Oh, 
What about your ass? It's massive compared your to other dudes. It's massive? Yes, that's why I, I wear <laughs> briefs is because I can get like a medium and it will stick to my waist. But like if I get briefs, they're going to be too big and I rip holes all the time right here. Like all those all those ones that are tight on me mm. like are torn because I can't What if you get girl panties? Stop. Would that be much of a difference? I don't know. You know which ones I do like are like those Hanes ones that are like looser but still kind of tight. Those black ones with the blue line on them. I don't know if you know which ones I'm talking about. I do not. <laughs> anyway, they're like very they're like very stretchy and spandexy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I do. I love I do those ones. Those ones are perfect. I want to find more. Just the right amount of gay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to watch that movie. Oh, the Jack, the Jack Black, Black Spider-Man. <laughs> oh my god! Or short film. How... I think it's a short film. Do people know about this? I don't. I didn't. Know I didn't about know it. about it. I love Spider-Man. I know, I like, know. I want to say I know like eighty percent of all Spider-Man things. I had no idea there was a movie about Jack short Black film. Spider-Man. Technically short film. It was I'll, a short. I'll take it. I know. I don't care. I'll call it a movie. It's a. It said it's film a on the Google. Film, yeah. So I'm taking it, but Jack Black Spider-Man. We don't know anything about it, but we saw it. We will watch today. it and then get back to you next Sunday. Ish, right now, maybe. I'm I kidding. don't know. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, no, no. Probably, probably right after this. Whenever I get this shit rendered, but right. that's for later, dude. I'm glad I don't reek. I'm glad I showered today because <laughs> this would have been unbearable to do. Oh, because you're sitting with your legs open, man spreading. So the waft of air would get to your nose. Dude, how am I supposed to not man spread? I, I'm just when my I'm cock's not this saying fat. it negatively. I'm, kidding, I'm, I'm just saying you're like with legs wide. I'm I've got legs wide open here. With legs wide open. <laughs> but I'm like doing the crisscross applesauce, hands in my lap. Oh, I hate it. My hands, that. it's my feet that I'm like sitting on my feet. Did you ever have to do that? Dude, like, all the time. Um, I hated that so much. I don't know why, but like every time that like we'd be like PE or whatever, and they would make us sit crisscross applesauce, I'd be like, <laughs> it used to <laughs> like, be like I would close my vagina because that's how I was born. That's how I was it was raised. crisscross applesauce, hands in your lap, or the engine cross. Engine cross. Indian. Indian cross. But they would call. They would say engine. Cause what? Because that's, that's a racist way to say Indian. <laughs> engine? Yeah. It's one of the engines. Oh, like Southern accent? Yeah. Ew. Yeah. Oh, dude, actually, I, I've i already talked to you about this because it was absurd, but you were like cooking, so I don't know if you even remember. Right. Um, But this was like the most racist thing my school has ever done. And like, I, I think you did have a reaction to it. The powwows? Did I tell you about powwows? I don't remember. I remember I told you about powwows. I don't know if any other school d- does this. Um, but in elementary school, probably like second grade, we would have powwows. Or it's like from first to like fourth grade, we would have powwows. And I I don't exactly know what it was celebrating. Like I I don't think anybody told me what we were celebrating, whether, I guess maybe Thanksgiving? Like, I had no idea what was going on. Mm -hmm. But basically, what would happen is that each class would get together. uh, Well, not together, but, like, each class would build their own teepee. And, you know, it would be built with, like, sticks and, like, construction paper that teachers had or something. We'd, like, paint our hands onto it or, like, just make it look very native. And yeah. Um, yeah, it was very disturbing. We would all make a teepee. And not just that, we would take time out of the day to go outside with our our parents were here. It was like the end of the day, so they, they we can just go home, right? Our parents would be there to record because that's basically the only reason they would invite the parents to record us us children uh doing dances around the teepees as if we were Native Americans and we would do the classic yeah and there'd be somebody like playing a drum or something and it's just like it was the most racist shit 
Yeah. And like my mom really does love the whole native thing. Like she is technically part of native culture. I don't know exactly what. Like I don't know what's going on there, but in her blood she is pretty much native. Um but so so like because of that she was very like uh, enthusiastic about it. Like she she made my costume herself. Like she mm-hmm. sewed it together and like she made the the I think moccasins is what they call the shoes for the feet. Yeah. So she she made all of this herself. And like I really appreciate that. Like that to me felt very loving. Like that was like motherly love to me, but like what the fuck for are we that. celebrating? And why why am I pretending to be Native American when I yeah. am not? Let's all remember Christopher Columbus when the natives gave them food and taught them how to farm. He was like, "We could it with <laughs> ten armed men, we can rule these people and enslave them." <laughs> it so, was pretty bad, and like yeah. I don't think any child was educated enough to know, no. and no child became educated afterwards like this was strictly for parents to be like look at how cute they are yeah yeah can it you let know? me i have a similar one of learning what indian and cowboy shit was in my school we watched a movie Uh-oh. and at the at during recess it was like you got to be either an indian or oh, a cowboy God. and if you're an indian you get like this toy like bow and arrow with like a right. little plunger if you're a cowboy, you get a little fake pistol. Right. This could never fly today. No. No. But it probably still shouldn't have flied. No. If you're an Indian, you had to communicate with... Of course. Yes. That is what we were doing. Not the... the Yeah, it was the... Yeah. That is exactly what we were Here's doing. Here's what was funny, though. Pretty much all the class wanted to be an Indian... Because they were cool. Because, yeah. They rode it was the, like being a wild animal. Yeah, kind they of thing. rode yeah. the horses. They had the wolves. Yeah. They had the tomahawks and the bow and arrow. They were pretty cool. Cowboys? Like, they were, like, just going off shooting them. Like, yeah. It felt kind of unfair. But the teachers were kind of mad. No one wanted to be a cowboy. Exactly. So they made a good group of them cowboys. And I was like, they made more cowboys than Indians because mm-hmm. the Indians are supposed to lose. But, like, it felt very uncomfortable to me as a kid. Like, I didn't get it. Yeah. But I was like, I just wanted to be an Indian. I got to stay an Indian. I was like, hey, fuck you, Christian. Now you're a cowboy. It's because you it's probably... What you get for stealing my they, Hot Wheels. They saw you and they were like, oh, yeah, that one's a little bit native on the inside. That oh, yeah, they saw my skin. They're yeah. Like, He's got an orange tint. Because to them, you're apparently super Mexican when, like... <laughs> Bro, when my hair is my hair's dark, my eyes are dark, yeah. and I my skin has a tint of like you're not a yellow blonde. orange. You don't have blue eyes, okay? It legitimately was. If yeah. I'm not black, I'm Mexican. Yeah, that's all it is. I'm fucking none. <laughs> like motherfucker, that's stupid. Fuck that. My school had. Well, I went to multiple schools, but each one of them had like those moments of like, this is something's wrong here. Yeah. For the second school I graduated from, it would be when we had a older black, openly gay. Oh, I think you told me about him. Who worked as like an assistant coach? I think. Yeah. They were. I think it was someone trying to be a teacher. I don't think it was a student. Right. But man, did he get bullied out of that school? Yeah. <laughs> like fucking like teachers, the kids, all the kids, the principal, the student board, like everyone hated that guy he did nothing wrong and i thought right. he was cool he was like very nice and funny it's just for being who he is yeah and he yeah. W- he never told anyone he was gay he was never like oh, man, uh, here's, here's my gay flag you right. know he wasn't that kind of guy he just kind of had that accent you know right the the gay accent yeah <laughs> he no, kind of he kind of had that gay yeah accent like not even like hardcore it was just kind of slightly and he didn't have any crazy lingo that like upset people he just kind of had a tinge in his voice and it really shows that it was mostly because he was black yeah <laughs> because we had someone that was the son of like the assistant superintendent or whatever. And he was like, he, everyone thought he was gay, like super hardcore. Like he was a cheerleader, super hardcore twinge of the Mm -hmm. gay in his voice, like looked gay. Like if I showed you a picture, you'd be like, oh, he's gay. But like, 
everyone kind of thought he was gay, but no one said anything. You know, there's something that's pretty shameful to me, um, and about me, uh, because I've never actually met a like someone of color when I was younger. So, like, I, at least not that I remember, mm-hmm. but, like, when I got to, I'm going to say, like, sixth grade or something, there was, you know, a black kid in our class, and my initial reaction was, don't talk to them, because I, like, the way that I've seen other people react to them, other adults in general, were that they just didn't like them, and... At first, it just, like, made sense. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. well, let me just not, not go near them because something's wrong. You know, like, they, they apparently don't belong here. Or, like, something. Something's wrong with them, right? And then as, as time went by, I was like, why, like, why would anybody act like this? Like, this kid isn't really acting any different from me. You know, like, it, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, it, it's a guy and he's a little bit weird. You know, he likes things that I don't like, you know, but like over time I, I would watch and see what, what was going on with him. And then I'd be like, you know what? He's just a he's just another guy. And like a lot of other guys in our class realized that a lot faster because they were they were all guys. You know, when you're yeah. kids, you talk, you're a girl, you talk to girls, you're a guy, you talk to guys. That That's how it was. And that's for how us, at that's least, how the you know? school system is. Yeah. So a lot of the guys actually were just like really cool friends with him. Like they li- they loved him. Yeah. You know. So over time, it-, it took me a long ass time to realize that he's just a person. You know, because it it was, you know, not not necessarily my parents or like teachers or anything. It was just I can tell that they would look at him kind of weird. Like I I felt the the vibes that that came off of them. Like it they were uncomfortable to say anything wrong. You know. Right. Like, they didn't want to offend him or something, so it just made me go, "Oh, I should stay away." There's such a like hidden conversation yeah. around race. Yeah, it's it's always that. Here's the thing: as, as much as I hate parents and I'll blame them for a lot of shit in kids, there's just and I can still blame them for this technically, but they're no no parent no. Th- in a utopian world, every parent would like teach a kid about sex, race, yeah. and like being a good person. But in this world, no, that's not the case. So I'm more like being reasonable, and I'm thinking schools need to teach kids how what race is right. and what it means. Well, that's how I and learned. how to respect. I I showed up to school with somebody of color, and I I was like, whoa, this is new. <laughs> but that that's where that's where I think the school. F- fails is not not guidance actually yeah because parents Another are racist thing is that i didn't even realize that i was technically a different ethnicity like mm-hmm. i i had no idea that i was not like it wasn't of the norm because normal you know in this kind of country is white white people are like normal people mm-hmm. you know like that's technically what the book says right so if you're anything other than white you're like a different race you're a whole completely different thing right and it's like i didn't know that i was living at the border of mexico like i didn't realize that until later when i met a white person like straight up there was a white white female and white kid (laughs) you just got a text um like they i don't i don't know where they were from but it was like you know blonde blonde kids like natural blonde hair blue eyes like red cheeks like it just they were white as fuck and i was like i thought i was pale like these bitches were white and then they glow in the sun and like the way they would talk (laughs) was so different too like they Mm -hmm. they were like from a whole other different part of the world like they they would talk so weird and i'm like what what is that word that you what's a koozie you know which is something i heard here not you know, Co- is, but, it, is it koozie or cozy? Koozie is what she said. Well, Jeez. anyway, whatever. Like, it just, it was so <sighs> interesting to see that. Like, right. that to me was more shocking than seeing a black person. Like, that yeah. was like, who the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Where did you come from? <laughs> so, in my first school as a kid growing up, it's like, I had legitimately never met a black person because my family's my family and I was raised on a ranch. Of course. 
and I didn't meet a black person until like kindergarten esque. There was a taller kid named Bubs, uh, who became one of my good friends and like would come to my house and hang out. But there was that preconceived notion that's like, mm-hmm. there's that. Be- this is where schools mess up because kids have this instinctual thing of like you don't look like the rest of us, so you kinda yeah. Don't well, we're belong. curious, you know, and we like, always ask questions. And kids are assholes because there's that natural like group mm-hmm. mentality around. That's why there's the popular kids, the loser kids. Like, don't do nothing wrong, but when a majority are against the minority, <laughs> people tend to go with the crowd, and right. that's just how people. And that's modern adults, but with kids, it's like. It this is their building blocks to being a human adult. Yeah, I don't know. I I specified human. human. It's like, well, <laughs> what if I want to be a wolf? Mm. <laughs> I mean, mm. and all some people, except physical. Mm. Some people would, but that that I think schools need to teach kids like race yeah. is important to a lot of people, and you need to respect them culturally because. As a country, we are we need to take pride in all the different colors that I we have. I gotta say, I feel like. Our school handled that a lot better than yours, uh, mainly because yours is, you know, one of those white driven kind of places. Mm-hmm. Ours was like, no, we're all in the same boat. Um, they didn't talk to us about that specifically. Um, but when we did get more uh, culture in our school, uh, some kids were kind of like on the bad side and were like, fuck this. This dude, like, he ain't one of us, you know? Mm. And the teachers would straight up be like, you know what? Fuck you, kid. And they would, like, pull him aside, take him out of class, like, literally change his entire schedule or something. Like, just, like, completely remove him from the map just to see, you know, make sure that this this other guy is okay. Yeah, because the, the older people get, the harder it is to change their mind on something. Yeah. When they're young, that's when you need to teach them and guide them to the right things. Because right. if you don't, parents will obviously do the worst thing that you can do to kids. Because I want to say 90% of fucking parents are dog shit parents. And they mm-hmm. teach their kids to be pieces of shit. And that's why the country is the way that it is. And you find so few people that you can find common ground on. You know right. what I mean? Like... In a store, like when you work at Walmart in a store full of people that you work with, you'll meet three people (laughs) that you can chill with. Yeah. Half of them are legitimately horrible people. (laughs) And the other half are just people that you don't gel with because they just don't want to deal with you. Like to you, to them, you're a horrible person. You know what I mean? Whereas you're just kind of like indifferent about it. Excuse you. Oh, uh, excuse me. That that ice cream fucked me up. Apparently, <laughs> I wish um that I was taught about uh, sexual harassment as a kid. Oh, that's, um, yeah. <laughs> I always knew there was something off <laughs> about that. Um, but there was this one kid uh, while waiting in line for lunch, grabbed my ass. And I didn't uh, register that as sexual harassment because I had no idea what was going on. And the the guy that he was with, you know, did not like that he did that. And, like, straight up told me, he was like, you do realize what just happened, right? And I'm like, not really. And just, like, kept going with my day. Mm-hmm. And he didn't say anything because it was, like, technically none of his business. But, like, you know. Should have said something. He, yeah. You Absolutely. know, he still technically was concerned. So... Thank you for that, you know, but like Should've I didn't been. realize what happened at all. Right. So I I didn't pick that up at all. And eventually, um this kid was like on my fucking nerves. Like I mean, he he was so fucking pushy about everything. Like I hated him so much. And I made that pretty clear to my parents, like cuz they I think they had asked me like how was school or something and I I went ahead and told them, like, there's this kid that I fucking hate. And, like, I just, like, I'm so infuriated with him. Right. And they were asking me to, like, example it, you know, like, just be like, well, what's he doing? And, like, all this shit, right? And it, it eventually came out of me that, like, oh, also, he grabbed my ass one time, right? I didn't say that, but, you know, mm-hmm. like, you know, I, I was a kid. And they were like, what? <laughs> 
immediately marched to the principal's office. And I'm like crying because I thought I was in trouble. Right. Because they, they didn't tell me what the fuck was going on. I was just like, eh, you know. And there, my the the principal was like, it's a, you don't need to cry. Like it's all right. Like well, well, we can deal with this together. You know. Like she was being so supportive, and I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Again, I, like I, don't know. I I can I blame I want to blame the parents on everything because it is at the core their yeah. responsibility, their fault. But at the end of the day, they're like, just well, not going to do anything. See, the thing so is that like, my mom would always tell me, you know, close your legs, don't bend over this way, you know, all this fucking shit. Because it's like, yeah, when you're a kid, you don't pay attention to how you're sitting. So sometimes I would sit like crisscross and my panties would be sticking out. And like, she wouldn't even let me sit like that in front of my dad, which I know my dad wouldn't do anything. But like, you know, she, she didn't want me to be indecent in front of anybody. So she raised me to think like that. But... She didn't tell me exactly why. <laughs> right. That, so, that's what it all comes down to. Yeah. Is like, no matter what fucking way women act or like try to hide or anything, men are going to I wasn't even being indec- indecent with this kid. He of was, course not. standing. It's never yeah. the woman's fault. Yeah. In, in these situations. I just, I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. It's men being horrible pieces of shit because they're horrible fucking pieces of shit because they're raised to be horrible fucking pieces of shit. And they are grown up in an education system that embellishes them and supports them for being horrible pieces of fucking shit. And that's what it comes down to is we need overhauls of this shit because why don't things change? Why? Oh, well, the problem is that uh, feminism and, you know, women get to vote now. It's like it's never been (laughs) the women. And they always come up with some excuse. This happens in every fucking country. Mm -hmm. And I wonder what the common thread is. Mm. It's because no one holds men accountable for their fucking horse shit. I will say, um, happy ending, though. Um, They they called that kid to the office. um, Mm -hmm. More like, do you know what you just did? And he was like, I don't fucking know what's going on. But, you know. He 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 was also crying because again, principal's office is like the scariest thing ever because teachers would threaten you with that shit. Um, and his parents were like, "What the fuck, right?" Because they were not supportive of that either. Yes, they and, shouldn't be. Yeah, and they were like, "You know what? From this point on, you are being homeschooled." So never again did I ever see that kid. Like literally, I've never seen him since that point. So. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, I mean, homeschooled is like 50-50. I feel like that's not a, that's not a way of uh teaching him that he did something wrong. Like, no, I think I, that's, that's how you create like a hermit. Yeah, and, you like, just a created a bigger problem for yourself. Um like I I wasn't damaged by this at all because again, I did not understand what was happening. Um it is kind of like frustrating to know that i let it happen like if i could turn back time i'd be like fuck you you know Mm -hmm. like i'd punch him in the face but you know i i didn't realize it at the time so it's not something i'm like uh struggling with so for him to be homeschooled is kind of like that he had to struggle with for a while he's probably still struggling he's probably still there and like i i didn't mean to put him there like he made one bad decision it's up to the parents, man. Yeah, like, if his parents were to educate him, instead of just immediately being like, you know what, you're in Rapunzel's castle now, it's like, what, mm-hmm. what the fuck? I don't know if we talked about it on the last podcast we tried to record, or if we pl- talked about it in Smash, or uh-huh. Buffy or Herbs. Speaking of losing recordings, we lost the Buffy <laughs> recording we did. Uh-huh. That's great. <laughs> anyway. um, But... I will, I'll say it again, and I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it's like men need to be like um, accountable. They, they need that <laughs> injection in the balls. They need to be, you know, like I forgot the term for like that procedure is vasectomy. Where, vasectomy. Thank you. <laughs> vasectomy, like as soon as possible, train them to respect other people and women and the mind their own fucking See, business like i am not like you're like extreme about this i'm not really as extreme about it because i i feel bad like to me it's like it, it's like cutting off a dog's balls even though it's you know reversible it's it reversible. just feels it, it feels wrong in a way and like 
I think that's because I understand it because it's like we as women have been struggling with all sorts of reproduction stuff. So for a male to just willy nilly, you know, jerk off and whatever, it it is pretty infuriating, but I wouldn't want anyone to suffer either. My thing isn't about jerking off. No, I, I don't is, mean just jerk. I mean, like, you yeah, know, that's just a metaphor. They shouldn't be able to shoot yeah. a baby into someone definitely not wanting a child and then in a country that is like no you're having the child yeah and you're paying for the child and you're going to pay the hospital for the child and you're going to thank us and the raper for your child and right. you're going to look at that child every single day for 20 plus years maybe even more and you're just going to be like, Dude, I have to take care of this child. You're going to send that child to college. Like, this fucking country doesn't give a shit about overpopulation because they know they can make money off of it. Oh, well, like, even in this overpopulation with, like, the amount of people that are homeless versus the amount of houses that exist and apartments that are empty. Yeah. We're not overpopulated. We're horribly distributed. Yeah. Which goes into the whole, like, well, then we need we need Medicare for all. And we need a free, systematic, universal health care for the entire country. And we need free college because you can't go one without the other. Yeah. And, and just work on getting people jobs that pay more than what they pay now. A living wage in the current modern society. So that way they can get There's proper just so jobs. There's so much broken shit, Get dude. a proper home. No more people hoarding fucking houses. Tax the wealthy. Take away the fucking wage gap between the, the poor and the rich and make it more of a median and have people be able to get the food and medicine that they need. It's it's basic shit. It, yeah, it all comes down to, again, the whole um, just wanting people to live and survive. And, but it's and just, then we can start je- injecting uh, glue into the balls. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... Yeah. I, you can't just start on a problem and just be like, all right, we're done. Because when you f- try to fix one thing, it creates this domino effect. Because this whole country is stacked on toothpicks. And at the very bottom, there's like a single piece of like craft cheese that's like kind of about to break. And like one more recession and it'll probably break and we'll all probably lose our money because our dollar will be worthless. But anyway... That single craft mac and cheese slice right there. Like, if we try to take off any fucking toothpick and just be like, all right, you know what? Medicare for all. The whole thing's going to fall apart because the country can't deal with it because we're built for everything to suck. I think it's mostly the fact that everybody argues too much about what's fair and what they think is right and like everybody wants their opinions to be heard and they're like well where's my freedom of speech you know and it's like well first of all you didn't let me have mine so what do you what are you talking about yeah well where's my mr potato head yeah like it's just a bunch of fucking bullshit that nobody can ever agree on and it's like we don't all have to agree. Like, I'll say that, you know, we don't all have to come together into one thought, to, you know, like, yeah, you're allowed to have your own fucking opinions, but your opinions are wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, if, you know, if we're going to fix the problem, we need to come to a conclusion of what what needs to be implemented. It- and the, the whole, you know, arguing back and forth is not going to get us anywhere. I think to help with that, we we demolish whatever the in God's name the Republican Party is. It's because they're demons, and we have well, to how choose. How do you even demolish that? That's the thing is that there's no way of doing things. They exist for the same reason the Democrats exist. It's so that way they. It, it's so that way it forces a majority of people to choose between two people, a demon. Or a lesser demon. Right. Still a piece of shit, horrible person. God awful, horrible, 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 shitty person. But there's someone who's just even more shitty. So then you go for the less shitty. And he doesn't do anything. And you just, you know if you picked the other guy, it would have been way worse. So get rid of that. 
have one whole party be in control because this gets into a whole different conversation about yeah, Democrats we're, we're being going pussy into politics, whip. And I don't want to get into this. Listen, at the end of the day, <laughs> the problem is we have two. We, it, it's all team shit. It's all I'm blue team and I'm red team. Get the fuck out oh of my here God. with your bullshit. Do you remember when that was basically just Pokemon Go? Are you Team Valor? Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> no. It's basically that. Pokemon Go is dead. And it's more dead than I wish I was. Thanks, Jackie. It's when I like we're recording a podcast here. Not like you squared in on me earlier or anything. <laughs> There's a lot going on in this podcast. We talk about I, politics as usual. I want to circle back to the sexual harassment thing because I have another story that I need to tell. Go for um, it. Um, that this one I'm holding a grudge on. This one I'm really pissed off. This one did some damage to me. Uh, not not like really bad damage, like I was raped or anything. It was just like it, it just it's triggering. Mm-hmm. Um, I Go used ahead. to be in choir, which was uh you know, singing, whatever the fuck. I did not sign up for it. It's just our music teacher went class to class and made us all sing individually and was like, you have a good voice. You're part of my choir. It's like, oh, great. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, and our choir sessions were in the special needs class. Like, we, we, couldn't, we couldn't afford a new class. So we had to just share the class with special needs. And usually our, our sessions were, like, at the end of the day, and special needs would be there a lot longer than most of us because they, you know, they needed longer. I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. But we were all kind of like, he would have us, our music teacher would have us like standing in a line, in like lines and we would do whatever the fuck he wanted us to do, right? And one of the special needs kid was like, I mean, he was on like a tangent that mm. whole time. And the, the teachers kept trying to keep him quiet because, like, hello, there's another thing going on right now, right? But he's he's different, so he needed... And, like, the <laughs> teachers aren't yeah. made to deal with this. Yes, I know. But regardless, he was running around, and for some reason, he stopped in front of me, grabbed my tit, and was like, booby, ha ha ha, and just kept going. The people around me that noticed that that happened laughed because it was funny, apparently. Um, I was infuriated. Um, but everybody thought it was hilarious because mm. he's special needs. And teacher saw. The teacher saw it. I know they did because I made eye contact with one of them and she was just like, you know, like she, she just didn't do anything. So I was just pissed off. Like... If this was any other kid, that would not be okay. But he was special mm. needs, so it's okay. It's it's like it just it, it was infuriating. I you've told me this story before, which yeah. is why I'm not like <gasps> so like don't get mad at me for not being super supportive. I am supportive. But well, yeah, I've said this multiple I, times because it course. is pretty triggering to me, and I just yes. want to keep saying it because it's like fuck it, this kid, it, fuck it, that kid. Yeah, that's what it triggers is your that whole like when kids start acting unruly, it triggers that whole like fuck children for real and fuck the adults because no one does anything. They didn't do shit. Of course like, not. I honestly, I really wanted to just hit him or just walk out. Like I wanted to do anything, mm-hmm. but I didn't know what to do. Like I froze yeah. in, in in my spot. And that that happens to a lot of women who deal with that shit. Yeah, like you don't know being, how to react to that because yeah. it's so shocking that and, it even and happened. Peop- and there are people around you, so you expect someone yeah. to do something, but they're not going to do anything because I, I've I've thought about this, and I think it's because you didn't you didn't give that react, reaction. Yeah. So if you don't like, react, then they shouldn't react. Yeah, to it's like, well, you didn't freak out and yeah. get pissed off and hit him. So they're like, oh, so she's like, it's like when okay, you, she's calm. It's she's like cool. when you fall on your ass and you start laughing. So people laugh with you rather than, oh, are you OK? You know, like if you started crying, then, yeah, people would be like, are you OK? But if you're laughing, they'll laugh. Like, listen, th- this is going to sound kind of cringy and be like oh yeah i'm so cool and epic but like if i was there i would physically restrain the kid because at that point he's he's grabbing other students he needs to be held down and the fucking adults need to do something for the rest of that 
session, I had like my arms like crossed over my chest. Like I, I felt so uncomfortable that like I, I had to just like block it in case mm-hmm. he came back because nobody was going to do anything about it. So I was like, oh, I can't just, absolutely, I can't just leave. And I was like in, in the middle because again, we were in lines. So it was like the front door, right? There's a line of kids. There's another line of kids. There's another line of kids. And I was like right in the back and then another line of kids behind us. So it was like I was kind of crowded by all these people. Nobody did anything. I couldn't just squeeze past all these people and leave. You know, mm-hmm. like it was it was trapping. Like I was trapped. Yeah, it, it gives that so feeling just, of like there ah, is no safety in numbers. Kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. that kid. It's horrible. It's traumatic as fuck. I hate it. I hate that child. I really hope he died. <laughs> I hope his special needs got to him. If, is that a thing that can happen? Do people die like that? <laughs> yes. I don't fucking know. I, I don't... I, well, I don't know. I had like... I, I've had like two disabled people in my whole like school discography mm-hmm. of like high schools, but the first one was because they were inbred. Uh, uh, the other one was a re- result of like just horrible like circumstance and genetic. Yeah. Like, it, like that was unfortunate. The first one was like... This is my reasoning why people should uh, have to file for parents for uh, p- being a parent, pa- and yeah, men right. need an injection in their balls. Yeah. Anyway, um, like I, I just want to say, like, I have nothing against special needs people. Like, oh no, this isn't you it, attacking. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's just that one person who just so happened to be special needs that did this. You know, it. It makes me so mad that he got away with it specifically yeah. because he was special needs. I think that's what hurts the most yeah. and what has kept you on to that pain is that... That he just got away with it. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. No one did anything. And I'm just expected to laugh about it and be like, oh, you know, he's he's different. He doesn't think like other people. He's not he's not right in the head, so it's okay. It's like, no, it's not Okay. Like, someone should have taught this kid not to do that. Yeah. I don't care how fucking special this child is. He needs to learn. You know? Like, it's just... I don't know. It's stupid. There are a lot of special needs people that I've met that just know. They know boundaries. They know. They're smart enough to understand this. Mm -hmm. But that fucking kid, I would have fucking punched him in the dick. Like, if I could... Again, if I could go back in time... That one would be the one that I would probably choke almost to death because that's when people would step in. Dude, like I would jump this child. I used to have dreams about yes, beating the shit I know. I out of too. annoying little kids. I still have kids. them. <laughs> I still have them. Well, I mean, them. yeah, you still deal with them. <laughs> well, like I, I, there's so many moments in life where I'm like, oh my god, this person was such an asshole to me. Why did I let them get away with this? And I just want to go back in time and be like, yeah, we, your mom sucks, you know, like just anything, anything. Because like I, I was such a quiet kid. I'm still pretty quiet about things. Like I don't I don't speak up for myself at all. You know, like I, it, right. shit goes down. I'm like, yeah, well, that happened. I can I can <laughs> I can agree. I'm I was also that way. Yeah. There's a lot I wish I stood up for. And there's a lot I wish I didn't stand up for. Yeah. In the end, it wasn't worth it. Yeah. Definitely. There, there were times where I was like, I'm dying on this cliff and I'm going to speak my mind when I should have just been quiet because sometimes it was a little too cringy. And like me as a person now, I don't believe in the things I said at the time. Or right. I said some words I don't use anymore because it's fucked up to say those specific words. See, and that's shit like what that. always holds me back from actually speaking up. Is like, am I going to regret this later? Like, am I going to be ashamed of saying what I just said? I think that's inevitable. Well, yeah, but I just, I never do it because I'm like, yeah, of course I'm going to be embarrassed about it later. Like, I I don't know. It's just the way I work. I think there's some things that it's like. I think it would have been worth it. It would have been worth it if I, you know, kicked this kid. Yeah, up, yeah. You know? I, I'm saying like now. Yeah. Now there's definitely moments of like self-control yeah <laughs> not in terms of like not saying something but just like boring moving towards like taking specific things out of your vernacular because like it just doesn't age well and right like, there, there there was like the you know like how 
the F slur and uh, re- oh yeah, like that was such a common word back in the day. Everyone yeah. said it, and now you say it now, and like there's there's people that are like either like like kind of uncomfortable around it, and there's people that say it because it's like get over get over it. It's a word, whatever. Right, and then there's people that are just like, dude, like, just don't say it. It's a fucking word. It and what I used to be on the the side of like, it's a word. Get over it. Like the I up saying saying the n word and the f slur like all the time, just being like, it's just a word. Don't care. Like, but I'm now. It's like, well, if you're just saying it, you're saying it just to. Annoy yeah. people. Like you're see, just being a troll. Like the argument on that, the way I see it, right? Um, is like those people that are like, it's just a word. It's like, okay, um, if you give meaning to the word that way, then yeah, it, it becomes a bad word. So if you make a big deal about it, it's just gonna get worse, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But on the other hand, why the fuck are you saying in the first place? Like, that's the reason why people have such a big reaction to it, because it's always used the wrong way. Whether or not you take the meaning away from it, it's still used in the wrong way. So it should never be used at all. Like, it, it's the yeah. same argument of if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. I agree. I, and I have had this position for Jackie, a while. Jackie. Oh, she's fine. Just don't pee on me again. <laughs> Um, she's still up and active. Yeah, she's look at I'm smacking her butt. And she's like, oh yeah. She's weird, yeah, bitch. Um, All right, get the fuck off of this guy. I've been the get off. I've been the I've been in a position for a while, but I'm of the position of um. How do I explain this? I the recent Papa John bit i've seen on twitter of him being like it took me 20 months to not to try to stop saying the n-word oh. it's like bro it's just a word like like you know it's fucked up you know it's wrong you know it's racist you know it's a horrible thing to say but there's something in white people's mind that's like why well, can't i, uh, I just want to yeah. say it and it's just like they're, no, it's the same thing of like the superiority thing. Yeah, it's where it's like, like they want to feel above you, so they say a word that'll make you feel uncomfortable and like you know, like you're not in a good position. But like around other white people, even they're like, "Dude, that's just tasteless." Like, yeah, yeah it's pathetic. And like other black people are also like, there are people who get mad and fucking super all power to them. They should knock the fucker out, like. I'll I'll help, you know. I'll get in there. I'll, right. I'll 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 get in there. Sure, I'll I'll you know beat the shit out of your local racist and all that. But for for like for what I've seen on TikTok mainly, it's people being like, "Fucking really? Yeah, that's all you got." Yeah. Like like there was a there was a guy, there's a politician on like Twitch that said like some weird slur for like jewish people <laughs> like most people haven't heard and weird. the guy that was watching the video he was like whoa he went he went old school now i'm sure most people didn't even know that was a slur jackie <laughs> she's so loud she's very annoying and it's like they do it but they try to they try to hide it and there's like you can see in some people's like white people's faces where they're just like oh i want to say the n word so bad I want to. I just want to say it. There's a yeah. there's a historic clip of this absolute racist piece of shit NBA player getting absolutely fucking owned by a a a black basketball player, and the look on his face is like, like I <laughs> want to say the N word right now. And a, according to other basketball players, he has called them the N word on the court before. No, yeah. and it's like. It, it, I don't get it, man. Yeah. And I don't get it with like YouTubers who are like edgy and I want to say like the F slur and the R slur, like all these different slurs. <laughs> Jackie's choking herself with the earphone cord. And the defense of them is just like, listen, man, it's just my community and it's it's me. 
And like, you know, you don't have to watch me. It's like, you don't have to say the word, man. You're doing nothing but being an asshole to a group of people and you're inviting all these edgy teenagers from 2012 and fucking 2013 to come back and be like, yeah, man, let me say the N word. Like, it's just a word. Like, there's so many people that are living in that edgy days and it, it just, you, it, you're like, you're fucking behind in the times, man. Like, it's not even that you're, no one thinks it's funny to say that, the, to say the F slur, you know, it's not, uh, there is no, sometimes, <laughs> I, oh, <laughs> there, I love it when he said the F slur, well, playing well, Minecraft, again, when you use it maliciously, that's when it's not good, but that's the only time yeah, it's ever used, exactly, is to like, it's an insult, yeah, and that's how people use it, like, I I think it's I there's that whole argument like well if black people can say the n word why can't I say it it's like because they took a term that was coined as an insult against them into something more of a camaraderie towards it mm-hmm. where it's like it's their fucking word they deserve it they deserve to use it however the fuck they want and if they choose not to fucking white people are still gonna be like well I want to say it. Like, why can't I say it? It's just, it's just the whole, I, I just, I'm just not there anymore, man. Like, I don't, I don't get it. And I don't think I will ever support people that will just say slurs all the time and defend themselves super hard. I think know? it's the, it's like reverse psychology. Um. From what I've noticed, um, white people, not every single white person, you know, but most white people, especially, you know, American people, like patriotic white people, Mm. when they are told no, that means why the fuck not? Huh? Why is it like that? In America. Why can't I just do this thing? It's super prominent in everything. That's just how that's just how people are like that. And I you know, I obviously don't have like the racial problems and shit like that cuz I look white. You know, I I look like a white person. You pass, yeah. Um so like people aren't really racist towards me, but they are very sexist towards me. Um a lot of men, American patriotic men get so defensive when I say no. Like at work specifically, because or you I, don't you know, laugh, or I don't laugh. Yeah, at they're like, the "Oh, same... <laughs> you're a bitch, huh?" You yeah. know, and it's like, uh, like they don't understand that no means no. Like, there's no explanation behind it. You know, I can't if I can't sell you a TV display, that's not my decision. You know, like this does not come straight from me. This comes from beyond the store manager, beyond the <laughs> beyond company the grave. itself. Yeah, like, this has nothing to do with me. Like, I'm just saying no because that's what I know, right? And they're like, well, why the fuck not? I've been doing this my whole life. Why not? It's like, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. That's just how it is. It's like, well, that doesn't make any sense. That's not how that works. Like, no, that is how that works. It's like, well, why not? Why, why is that how that works? It's like, I have no fucking explanation for you, sir. Like... I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, oh, because Jesus said so? Like, what What do you want me to say? You know? Like, that's just how that works. <laughs> there is no explanation. And they, for some reason, want to, like, you know, choke it out of you. They're, like, so aggressive about wanting an explanation. Mm-hmm. It's like, dude, I can't, I can't tell you oh, yeah. why the sky is blue. I can't tell you why we breathe. Like, I, I can't tell you why... I have a brain of my own and it has nothing to do with yours. I can't tell you why I'm not submissive towards you. Like, I just, I don't know. That just is the answer. I do not know. I will never forget, to this guy's credit, he was drunk, but fucking up my ass about why the food can't be sold cheaper since we're closing and I would throw it away anyway. Every 
fucking store on this goddamn fucking piece of trash pile country throws away food. Like, every single fucking store. There is not a single store that is like, oh, yeah, we'll give it away for free and to the homeless. No, they'll throw it away. They'll throw it in the dumpster. Yeah. They'll lock the dumpster and they'll call cops Except to wash H-E-B. the dumpsters. H-E-B apparently for the winter storm, um, when they, they lost their power, they were like, you know what? You you guys can have the food. Oh, that's a different. That's circumstantial. Yeah. I'm talking is. like, yeah. Uh, like well, a Well, yeah, like Tuesday. every day, every day kind of thing. Like when the food, you know. Walmart get, would never. Yeah, no. <laughs> Walmart does not give a shit about anybody. Power goes out for like 10 minutes, throw away everything. Everything goes. Well, the roads were clear on Saturday, so you should have been here. So uh, you're fired. Fuck you. You're fired for being snowed in. I like, gotta say, now that I'm leaving Walmart, I really hope that I do not ever have to go back. Because as much as they love to show commercials and like all of their training videos portray the company as like, happy-go-lucky, look at how happy we are, everyday low price, ha <laughs> look, we're so cool, we're happy and hip. It is... A nightmare mm. to work there. Like, it literally feels like I've oh, been a slave no, for a I, whole year and a half. <laughs> I don't think anyone doubts. I'm pretty sure most people well, that will listen no, to this agree. I didn't think of any of this at, of like Walmart until I started working there because I have no idea what was going on. Well, because they, 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 they really do like cover it up yeah. with happy faces. Uh, yeah, I don't disagree. And a lot of people that work there do get blindsided by that mm-hmm. and some are blinded to it you know well see the thing is that i really did like working there but i think that's just because of like the subliminal like we're a family thing like we love each other you mm. know we look out for each other when like i've never never has anybody been on my side for anything like i it just the fakeness of it all is what makes you go, oh, I am part of something when, like, you're not. No, absolutely They don't care not. about you. Literally, somebody told one of your friends that she's replaceable. It's like, that's fucked up. It is fucked up. That is absolutely fucked up. You do not do that. But, like, most jobs like that are pretty... You can be contempt there. The problem mm. is the company and your the upper management. And, yeah. And p- general populace. And that all comes down to like how the corporation is run, how they advertise themselves, how they, how like the the population treats workers, how it's how you should treat workers, like how in TV shows and movies how workers are portrayed and how managers <laughs> treat workers. You know, at the end of the day, you know nothing is done without workers, and they're treated like replaceable. This is why I never trust when um, cosmetics or anything <laughs> says 100% cruelty free. Like Someone's being cruel in that whole process. Uh, yeah, like from all of the shit that I've seen go down at Walmart, I can tell you that any company that will advertise itself as like friendly or, you know just paternal or in any way just like trying to feel like family it just it's fake it's all just fake Mm -hmm. right i gotta say if a chocolate brand comes out saying slavery free (laughs) whoa what maybe i want to look into it well because hershey's and nestle oh you slavery I don't know. Hershey's kind of sucks. I used to really love. Well, Hershey's. all chocolate in America is. I know. Trash. Yeah, but like, Hershey's used to be like one of my favorite like candy bars and of all time because it was like it was just pure chocolate. But like as I grew older, it just tasted more and more like iron. Like it just tastes like metals. It's that and throw up like, chemical, Ugh. right? Yeah. 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 Now I'm just like really grossed out by it. It was the slavery stuff for me. Cause with the well, yeah, I didn't know about taste, that. I, I had no mind. idea about that. I don't mind the throw up shit. Like, I pretty much assume it to taste not great for you and to click a chemical in your mind or anything. That if it tastes good and sugary to me, I'll I'll eat it and drink it, whatever the fuck. But when I America, when I found out a bunch of children are being enslaved for my 
Nestle Crunch Bar. Yikes. I kind of don't want to buy that Nestle Crunch Bar anymore. <laughs> like, it's it's that whole thing of like, you know, like hot dogs are like really gross parts of the oh animal, my God. right? It's like, I don't Ugh. give a fuck, bro. Do you see the shit we eat yeah. in this country? You know what, how bread is made? Like, like I've I'm seen, eating everything. I've seen and heard of things way worse than whatever the fuck a hot dog or a fucking chicken nugget is made out of. Like, I don't care. Mm-hmm. I'm going to eat it. Because it tastes yeah. good. It can be zero meat. You could lie to me and tell it's pure chicken. Well, there's fucking veggie the meat that some people don't even tell the difference it's in. It's delicious. Yes, there's Expensive, zero meat in it. It's like, delicious. okay, good. I'll eat it anyway. Like, I don't care. Listen, <laughs> milk is the most disgusting, mm-hmm. st- disgustingly made product that we have in this country. I would it's debate so gross. in terms of like how the animal is treated. Yeah, the, the process, oh, yeah. the life they go through, but the the end of the day, it's cow, and the reason I don't drink milk isn't because of that process to that cow. It's because I think it tastes pretty horrible. I don't like milk. Like soy I, milk is really yeah, good. Yeah, soy milk is pretty awesome. Some protein um, shake, really I just, good. What sucks is that you kind of can't really get away from milk because oh, it's in like, everything. It's in everything. There's ice cream. There's whipped cream. Like, there's all this fucking shit. Cheese. Butter. Like that's the whole God. reason why they're raping cows because it, they need to make more, more. You know. Even though you can make it with anything. No. Literally anything. There's people you using li- rice. Like yeah, the thing is that if you just replaced all like cow milk with like rice milk or something <laughs> you really think that's gonna damage your ice cream because i don't think it will mochi. i think ice cream is still gonna taste amazing mochi like just add enough sugar to it and there you go just <laughs> like, like everything else in exactly. the country like you don't have to rape a cow hey. for this but again it's all about profiting like, own america you gotta sell the shit we gotta rape yeah. the cow that's stupid yeah well uh, the the acronym uh J T S W N A B just the right size you wouldn't need a bucket. <laughs> what? <laughs> you never seen that video? What are you talking about? It's like a about? guy that like fucks his goat or something. <laughs> what the fuck? And he was like talking about how the goat is just the right size that you wouldn't need a bucket to stand up on to fuck it. What? Yeah. I know. <laughs> How short is this dude? No, the goat was pretty big. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? He's just the right size. You wouldn't even need a bucket. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? What videos are you watching? It was a Ray William Johnson. Is that thing. right? Yeah, because you know how is he, he would, fucking goes. No, he would add like videos to his, watching people. He would fuck watch. Goats? He would no. <laughs> he would have videos. In his video of, like, weird shit going on, and then that one came up. Ah, uh, shit, dude. We're fucking a fucking goat. I do want to watch Ray William Johnson again, but I feel like it's just going to be really cringy, and I won't laugh. I'll just be like, ugh, shut up, man. I want to rewatch it, because I want to know... I want to see where Aaron drew penises. <laughs> I want to see that. I'm sure you could find that leg- actual clip I tried clip already. Somewhere. Oh, really? I tried, but I had to just rewatch it, and then it it was lame. God, dude. No offense. I don't know where he's at now. Kind of, kind of off topic, but um, I I've been watching Game Grumps recently after I've been off for a super long while, and they're playing Sonic Heroes. Their <gasps> conversations. Sonic Heroes. Apparently, that's not how the melody goes what where the the version we hear on smash is like sonic hero you know where it's like you know yeah but the actual melody is apparently sonic heroes like it goes up it's a sonic hero sonic it's apparently a different song entirely on the actual sonic heroes oh i know Okay, well, super weird. Regardless, I'm still gonna sing it the way I want to sing it. Well, yeah, because we play Smash and it's funny. <laughs> but 
uh, anyway, I'm watching Game Rubs playing Sonic Heroes, and they've been having like the most like profound conversations Game Rumps has probably ever had. And it blows me away because I I am I'm only listening to it because I'm like either editing or playing Breath of the Wild, and I'll look back every now and again because they're a little laugh about something in the game, and I'm like, oh right, they're playing a fucking Sonic game. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I look back and it's fucking Big the Cat like glitching out or Ugh. something. It's so weird, man. Because like, this, they're just they're 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 like middle-aged almost like they're getting there you know mm-hmm. and they're ha- they keep having these like really profound conversations and Rhett and link have those conversations on like podcasts and stuff and like like dude personal listening shit. to Rhett and link talk on their podcast makes me feel like i'm big brain oh you know, because like, it's so it, like dude they the shit that they talk about is like so intriguing and just like I don't know, like, it, it's, it makes you think, you know? Do we and then, make like, you guys think? The, the stories that they tell of, like, their childhood and stuff is like, wow, they're just like us, mm-hmm. you know? I don't know, it's, it's I feel like our podcast is mostly, like, haha, funny meme, random serious conversation, some backstory, I think our podcast ranting. is more of, like, <laughs> politics, 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 oh <laughs> fart! Politics, politics, politics. We had that whole fart segment. <laughs> like, God. dude, we get way too into politics too fast, and I need, I like it's, every time yeah. that you you always go on a tangent first. You do yeah. this, man. You go in, and it's like two minutes of you talking about something, and I'm like, okay, let me let me continue this conversation. Let's you know, let's go back and forth, and then you'll continue for five more minutes, and I'm like, okay, is he, is he listen, gonna stop now? Listen. And I'll like start getting bored, kind of like doze off a little bit and then you're like still going for 15 more minutes listen (laughs) it's just it's hard to talk about shit in the world right now and rant about it and not being like the fix is so simple that's where uh, it's frustration man like i'm not over here being like yes i'm very woke oh yeah it is frustrating I'm, it's just you you rant about it for so long that it's like, wow, he's really angry about this. I am and angry. And it's like, yeah. No, I get it. I More am people angry should too. be angry. That's where I that's where I'm coming but from. But the thing is that we're not we're not starting a revolution here. Like it's, it's And we're, just, we're we're fucking we we're play just video sitting. games. We're playing fucking Buffy and Herbs for the DS and that's what we do and that's what we Oh, are. do you want to try to finish Buffy tomorrow? I'd love to, yeah. Oh, you guys are gonna miss out on the Willow. Um, yeah, I mean, thing. we'll get to that on yeah. the episode, actual, just, ac- actual episode, because this is gonna it's come not out. that much of a miss. It's just Willow. It's not a big miss. Like, <laughs> it's just Willow. But I don't want to like explain yeah. it here. I know. Like, I'm just saying that episode will probably get released in like an yeah. actual month from now. Like, it's gonna be yeah. Like, the distance from when we start uploading to recording is so big and a big gap. I think we should need to take a longer break of recording so we can like be more catch up. Yeah, be more up to date in our topics and our talking and no. mic quality because God, dude, those those episodes are rough to listen to. And when those smash episodes come out, it's gonna be so jarring to go from I'm this bad quality so to great mad quality. That quality was so bad i peaked all the time because i'm female and then we switched mics and you know it just it wasn't good and then and then now we were like okay yes finally decent mics decent quality and you record me eating and i'm just eating and chewing into the mic and i don't even realize how loud it is because i tried being quiet about it i didn't know either i, I tried being until, quiet until listening to the yeah, and recording. then you're like oh i'm just gonna leave it in haha <laughs> i'm like no that's horrible. Um, I feel bad for anybody refer- that has to listen to she's that. She's referencing a specific herbs episode. Jackie. That um, Allie is either drinking or eating something. I, I think I was eating like, um, what was it? It was like. I honestly don't remember. I was eating something for you sure. Were, you were eating something, but it's just like. I was trying to be so quiet. 
Like, I even, like, would step away from the mic a little bit to, like, chew. But these mics are pretty oh, good. I'm so mad and about that. Very directional. So if you want to, like, I'm not sorry. be picked up, you got to, like. Yeah, I got to, like. You got to, like, you gotta, like, set up so you can, Oh, like, wait, does that actually it. work? Holy shit, that actually kind of works. Look at how it's, like. Yeah, well, yeah, it picks it up, um, but it's, it's, you, like. Yeah. You know how I'm to it's your not like, right? Yeah. Uh, imagine if I was in front of you and moved to your right. That's what it's going to sound like. Oh. It, wear headphones for that. <laughs> like, if you want to see Ali in front of you and then next to you, there you go, ASMR. That's awkward. But um, I wanted to say like, don't remember. <laughs> well, shit. Um, we're about to hit two hours. Jesus, we just hit really? Two hours. Yeah. Oh my god. We went so last podcast we lost the audio from and we weren't too mad about it because we like kind of fucked up about the the whole flow of the conversation and there was a lot of like didn't know what to talk about because things kind of just got weird and we just kind of ended it and this one it's like we couldn't shut the fuck up you couldn't like, shut the fuck up <laughs> all right <laughs> so. <laughs> The fuck. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> anyway. Okay. <laughs> Some final words. I'm ready to leave. Very ready to leave. We I want to do a video of this house before we leave just so everyone has like a good idea this was what our living condition was do you want to do it like before we take like cartons down and shit or do you want to do it after because uh, like now it looks i mean it's still pretty bad but it looks a little bit good kinda, i think should do like a final tour when everything's like kind of packed well and that's to gonna be, look really bad that's the point oh Okay. This house is a piece of shit, and I want to, I want it to be documented how much of a piece of shit it was, and this is what we lived in. And um, I'm just I'm ready to leave. Yeah. And I'm scared, but I'm extremely excited because, again, I don't want to jinx it. Like, I feel like every time I'm like in a good mood or positive about something, it's just shit happens to make it not good but i feel very like confident that you're gonna find a job pretty fast and i can just take my break Mm -hmm. and just art just every fucking day wake up and do art like i i i felt like having a job would mean i can you know pay for art supplies and pay for things that i really wanted to do the only thing that I paid for, I think, that was very expensive um, was the drawing tablet. That was the only thing that I well, I used. You weren't really expecting me to get fired. Yeah, but the thing is that regardless of you working or not, you know, like me working to support my own hobbies was the main goal there. Um, but... Not having time to do it because it's literally nine to five every fucking day, Mm -hmm. except for two days of the week, which I will spend sleeping or resting because I'm so exhausted from working five days straight. Um, It's just it was too stressful, too much of a buildup. Like I I couldn't actually focus on something. I'm shocked that I was even able to make that little ornament for my sister for Christmas. It was great. It it came out so amazing, cool. but like I'm shocked that I was able to squeeze that into the schedule cuz it I mean, I it was too much. It was a lot. And like I every time that I go into work, I'm like, "Oh, fuck. Like I'm not doing anything right now. I wish I could be home. I wish I can bring my sketchbook and just chill out and draw for a bit." But like they they force you to walk around and do something. Like they force you to just get your ass going because you're you're wasting Walmart's time, right? Mm. So it just I always felt like I was wasting my time not doing what I wanted to do. And like being able to take a break, 
I want to do this. Like, I really want to just keep keep art things. Like, I feel like I was wasting my time before because I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. And now that I want to do this, I don't have time to do it. <laughs> like, it's, it's so, you know, spirally, but fuck. I'm excited to just have a day off and finally start building a new figurine. I've been wanting to build a figurine for quite a long ass time. Since we moved in here, I've been wanting to do a new figurine and I have not been able to. Mm -hmm. I started on one. I made a head. <laughs> I made a head. Great work. Great work. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to make music. I kind of did for a while. You did. But... Never anything got released. I mean, uh, a music video got released that no one really watched because no one really cared. So I was just like, all right, no one wants my music. I think it's more of like not doing it for people. Like, just fucking fuck around with it. But like, I make music for myself all the time. Yeah. The, 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 at that point, I was like, I'm going to put effort and like hype it up and like really i really want people to see it the best thing i've ever made that did well was the ramen video that we did for my yeah channel um and it's it's it got like 40 views or something like that's the yeah. best video i've ever did with like the people that i know i like hyped it up for like months and then like it was a joke music video yeah i hyped up i was like i'm gonna do like serious music now because people always were like well you know like you're pretty good and some people genuinely thought i was like paying people i had i'm not kidding someone thought that i was faking it i had like a writer i had someone wow. who made the music i made everything myself like and it's not even that great but then, like, with my serious stuff, I put I think so much time and effort. I think you don't understand your value. Because I think a lot of what you do does sound very professional. And, like, you you are able to hear things differently than I am. Um, like, you're, the way that you do music is very much, like, from a musician perspective. Like, I'm not a musician. I just hear things. I'm like, oh, I like that. And you're like, oh, that sounds bad. You know, like, you're, you're able to understand what's going on. And it does, like, most of the stuff that you do comes out, like, if it's an actual song that you would find on, like, a TV show or, you know, a, a different video or something. Like, it just, it, it sounds legit. And you every time that I tell you it sounds good, you know, because I, what else am I going to say? Like, I'm not going to be like, right. oh, yeah, I, I really like that snare. You know, like, I don't, I don't fucking know wow, anything. that was a pretty technical term of you. Well, because I know what a snare is, but, like, you know, I, I don't know most things. But, like, you know, all I can say is, I like it. <laughs> and you're just like, thanks. And then you put it online, and, like, there's no reaction because it's, like, you know, you're not out there out there. And, like, mm -hmm. you did hype that one up, which, again, it did well because you hyped it up. But, like, you're not super out there. So it's not like you're going to immediately be like, oh, this is awesome. You know, like nobody's going to fucking react to that. No. Yeah. And then your your self-value goes all the way down because you're like, well, it wasn't even that good anyway. And it's like, no, it was amazing. You're just not in the right mindset. I I I kind of disagree on the if it doesn't do well, I kind of put myself down on it. Well, it's not that. I it's, think you just put yourself down regardless. Well, I think it's the <laughs> whole, like, you make something, the next day you look back on it, and you're like, eh. In the moment, it was more of a vibe. Now I'm kind of like, eh. Mm. I'll, 90, I want to say, like, 99% of the time, I'm like, it can be better. Yeah. And that's, that's, um. It's hard to come to a stop. I'm sorry to interrupt, but. No, um, go for it. I, what I did when I was younger, because a lot of people saw that I had talent and were like, wow, you're going to be an artist, right? Um, this was like me trying to build myself up because I do love art. I do love doing a lot of drawings, paintings, whatever the fuck you want to categorize it. But mm -hmm. I, I also had that problem where i would draw something 
and then like a few days later look back at it and be like oh like why why did I put this here and like why why is her eye like this you know like I it would piss me off and like I remember being a kid and like you know I would see this in movies a lot where like there's a, a writer or an artist and they'll like they'll draw like a, a few lines and then you know crumple up the paper and throw it away and then do another one and crumple up that one and throw it away I saw that in movies a lot mm-hmm. so I thought that was like a normal process so that's what I was doing as a kid I was like just crumpling it up throw it away start over you know and it had to be perfect like I had to feel absolutely like completed with this so eventually what I did was um I started drawing with a pen so it was no eraser you could not erase for shit because I I remember the reason why I would erase so much was because there was an option to. Yeah. So I would start drawing with a pen and that would change my mindset around it. So it was like, oh, I fucked up. Let me see what else I can scribble on there to fix that. Or maybe I don't even want to fix it. You know, like I it would it would rewire my brain into thinking of like, uh, you don't have to fix all of your mistakes, which is what a lot of people on TikTok have been talking about, like artists in general, or like you don't have to fix mistakes. Like let the mistakes. Yeah, like supporting make you. supporting the yeah. art history side. Yeah, because a lot of people are like, well, I can't draw. I wish I could draw like you. It's like just accept your mistakes and you can do it. You know, like it's it's really not that hard, but it is pretty difficult. <laughs> like it, it's very very difficult to get a hang of that. So like when we're painting those bottles. It, that to me is therapeutic because it's like I don't have to give a shit like we're gonna smash them anyway mm-hmm. so I can just make it as nice as I can not giving a fuck if I made a mistake so fucking what let's keep going you know like that that's just that's the way that I like thinking with art so I don't I don't like going back and being like oh I hated this so now when I do stuff there are some stuff that I'm like eh, that's not really that good but like I'm not gonna hate it you know right like, it's like, eh, I did it. Let's add that to the portfolio. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. That's just, I I changed my mindset on that. Good. Because you are talented. And I've, the, the thumbnails don't do you justice. The artwork you've done oh, for the channel. Oh, that was just like speedy shit. All this stuff that you've done for the channel doesn't do you anywhere near justice. You are very, very good and super talented. And I think the whole world should see it and because i believe everyone would agree that you are very creative and talented and on that note we are creative nerds (laughs) who with all this power of i wish i could sing i wish too i mean i can (laughs) sing i just wish that i had the balls to do it I don't understand what it is with me. Like, I really, that's the one thing that I have not been able to target with therapy in general. Um, I have no idea how to fix that. You just do it. No, like, that's the thing is that saying that gives me anxiety and I just, I hate it. Ali, I'm telling you. I know. I know this. I'm telling you, as someone who was fucking riddled in anxiety, you know me. I couldn't go to the, I fucking struggled going to the post office. (laughs) And I've performed at shows where I sang, played guitar. I know. And I got there from being in my fucking room in my shed playing Nirvana and Green Day and covering them with my headphones and not even listening to myself, just saying it out there. I used to, I wanted to try and be in a screamo band. I used to cover Bring Me the Horizon. Look at me. I (laughs) used to try to sing like Ollie Sykes. Uh. You just need to I, I get know. started and do it. I know. There is no like blockade or secret remedy. You just go. But see, like I do sing, but it's never loud enough. And like I want to get louder, but I don't want attention. Like I don't want someone to look at me being like, oh, that's a person that's singing. Like I don't want, I don't <laughs> want the attention, even if it's from somebody I know, even if it's just you and me in a car. I don't want you to turn around and be like, what the fuck? Like, I don't want any reaction. I just want to do it, have no reaction, and then feel good. 
It sucks. You know I'm ha- going to have, like, no reaction. Regardless, I feel like you will. Like, th- that's the thing. Is my brain, my puny peanut brain cannot, <laughs> cannot, it just cannot. I don't know how to I, I know. It. No, you don't need to. I understand. I get it. What I'm saying is you just got to do it. There, I can't say anything more. <laughs> you just got to do it. I know. I know, I know you know. I'm literally, I just said like a few seconds ago, I was like, people always say they don't know how to draw, but they can. And I'm over here like, I wish I could sing. Just do it. Fuck. <laughs> like, it's I'm the fuck. same shit. I know it listen, is. Listen. Like, I know. Listen, I love you. You're the light of my life. You're my best friend. You are everything to me. And this crash couch thing is a lot of fun. I would love to do music with you. I know. But we need it to discuss this on another podcast because this one is way too long <laughs> as it is. So the final words became an extra 30 minutes. So I'm just going to say to thanks to whoever's listening and uh, watching the videos. Really appreciated. Thank you for the two cents. Yeah. Oh, I wonder how how much is on. <laughs> like two cents. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that Rolex is coming <laughs> up swift, boys. Just give it another fifty years. Can we buy another blimp with the crash couch money? <laughs> I'll let it this out. Don't worry. Oh my god. The second one's a little too small. Do you want a blue one or a green one? I was thinking we get a gold one. Oh. Yeah. That with the stimulus that came in, you know. We don't need it. Well, the, you said the crash couch money. Well, like, the stimulus helps pay for it. Oh, okay. We don't need the stimulus. Right. You know, just... What kind of fucking loser needs $28,000? <laughs> if you if, Jackie apparently if twenty eight thousand dollars is what you needed to get Dude, out of poverty, the amount of people that came in today to buy TVs and phones and literally anything that's expensive in the store, like, bro, chill the fuck out. Like we get it, but like, yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck, Jackie? Jackie, she just like choked on her. Yeah, meow. she was like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, thanks everyone for listening. Um, Go watch the Buffy playthrough. Hope this goes up on Sunday. It's it already, won't. It's, what time it, it? it definitely won't. It's, it's, it's 10 gonna, 16. It's going to be Monday when this It'll gets uploaded. It'll be like midnight. Sorry, everyone. Pro- past midnight. I know you. Have, I know everyone looks for. Wait, I know. You're, you're so on edge right now because <laughs> you didn't get your, your daily coffee dose of c- ca- couch. Squeaking. All right. <laughs> wait, 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 okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait. This is, okay, hold on. Before you do it, just so you know, <laughs> what? you didn't even let me finish. What? I was gonna say, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna have the outro music. It's just, <laughs> it's just gonna be a cold cut ending to you doing the part. So make sure it's a good one. And before I could even finish, you went ahead and did it and ruined the whole suspense of the bit. So now I can't even do it that way. So now I have to do uh, just a, a, the, the, I have to do those the outro as I normally would. I can't do it differently for this one. So it's got to be the, oh, the out. Dude, that is my new favorite thing to do. Now that I remember that that's a thing, I'm gonna do that every day. Can we start the next podcast with it? Yes. Great. We're gonna start every podcast with. It. No, we're not. I'll commit. I doubt you will. I will commit. You, you're gonna remember in a week. <laughs> yes. We'll see about that. <laughs> Bye.